Good evening and welcome to another exciting afternoon of Cleveland State Cougar Basketball. This is Brian Grissom live and in color from the queue, L. Quentin Lane Gymnasium on the campus of Cleveland State Community College. Thank you so much for joining in our broadcast on the Cougar Sports YouTube Network. It is a beautiful afternoon as I saw the sun peeping out out there. A beautiful, uh, cool afternoon here in Cleveland. Uh, this afternoon, and it is going to be hot on the inside of the gym as Dyersburg State has traveled from the far reaches of Tennessee over to Cleveland as they made their way over for a couple of basketball games this afternoon. The, we've got the women's action coming up. The uh, Lady Cougars of Cleveland State, 7-4, and 4-2 four, four and two, uh, in, in region play. And Dyersburg State comes in 5-10 and 10 and a 3-3 three and three record in region play. As we are about a minute away from tip-off, we'll have the girl, the ladies' game to start with and the men's game after that. Let me go ahead and give you some starting lineups. Uh, number five, Letitia Paris for the Lady Cougars. Uh, Tiana Baker, Destiny Remy, Laney Bone, uh, along with Anika Smith. Anika, Anika Smith, the, for, the starting five for the Lady Cougars. For Dyersburg State, uh, Ava Craddock, Sydney Neal, Tiara Starks, Sarah Strickland, and Madison Wright, the starting five for Dyersburg State. We are going to take a timeout here in just a few seconds as we get ready for the national anthem. Uh, Lady, uh, Lady Cougars, uh, uh, this past Wednesday we didn't have the broadcast. They were on the road up at Roan State. Lady Cougars took a, a close one from the Roan State ladies, 63-57. Lady Cougars win that one, but the men took it on the chin, 103-71 this past Wednesday up at Roan State. So the men looking to get back on track here in the new year, and the ladies, I think this is the ladies' first game of the new year. It is. So we'll see how they come out this afternoon. We'll go to our PA announcer, Mr. Gary Ormby, as we get ready for our national anthem. Amen. Beautiful rendition of the National Anthem, as we always like to uh, give a shout out to all our men and women in the armed forces, uh, making it possible around the world to, for us to come together and talk a little basketball and play a little basketball here at Cleveland State. Thank you so much for tuning in the broadcast tonight. Uh, the Lady Eagles of Dyersburg Strait Dyersburg State <laughs> in their uh, road blue uniforms with white trim. I think they got a little bit of red trim as well there, but mostly dark blue. Lady Cougars in their home white uniforms with dark blue and light blue trim as the starting lineups are underway. As I said, Letitia Paris, Tiana Baker, Destiny Remy, Laney Bone, and Anika Smith for the Lady Cougars as they try to continue their winning ways here in 2023. The men have already played one game uh, in 2023. As my goodness, the season is half over. Let's see, they took care of business. Oh, no, they they dropped a game. That was it. To Wallace State. I should remember that. I had the, I <laughs> broadcast that game as the Cougars fell to Wallace State in a close one here last Saturday. 
And this will be the Lady Cougars' first game of the new year. So let's see how they get off, off and running or if, if they're a little rusty. The tip goes to Cleveland State, and we are underway. Thank you so much for joining the broadcast this afternoon. Been, we appreciate all the feedback we've been getting from our broadcast. Here's a shot inside by Laney Bone. Air ball. No good. It'll be Lady Eagle basketball. Lady Cougars with a trap across half court line. Number 12, Ava Craddock finally gets rid of it, gives it up to Sarah Strickland. She'll set up the play out front. Long trip from Dyersburg State to Cleveland State. I know I've made it many a time. Sometimes you seem like it seems like you can't get there from here, but you can. Here's a scoop shot inside. Shot is no good. Traveling violation. Turnover, Lady Eagles. Cleveland State basketball. Letitia Paris away and across the timeline. Give it up to Bone. Bone back to Paris. Paris drives the lane. Spin move. Off the glass. No good. Rebound fault for Destiny Remy, and we've got a jump ball. So alternate possession will go to the Lady Eagles of Dyersburg State. Beautiful country over in Dyersburg, but it's all country. Up next to Real Foot Lake, just a rock's throw from Real Foot Lake. You know, know where that is, up in the northwest, let's see, yes, northwest corner of Tennessee right on the Mississippi River. Beautiful area up that way. Number 22, Sydney Neal out front. Gives it up, steers the loose ball, picked up by Laney Bone. Lady Cougars on the run, Bone. Spin move in the lane, puts a shot up. Can't get the roll, gets her own rebound. Shot no good and tipped out of bounds to Dyersburg State. Coach Nathan Dane pointing the way for Dyersburg. Here's a layup possibility, but the Lady Cougars get back on defense. Great job by Destiny Remy that time with the block shot. Out front is Sydney Neal. She gives it up to Tiara Stark. Starks over to Neal. Back out front to Stark. Starks. Two-pointer, no good, just at the shot clock. Rebound, Dyersburg, shot no good. Rebound, Lady Cougars. Tiara, Tiana Baker, my goodness, a bad pass and turnover, Lady Cougars. Sierra Strickland picked it off that time. <clears throat> pass inside, double teamed over to number 33. That is Madison Wright, has her shot blocked. And I don't know how in the world <laughs> Uh, and Annika Smith, Anika Smith, caught that ball, slid and fell, and stayed in bounds. I don't know how in the world she did that, but they play on. Here's Smith out front, thought about a three, changed her mind. Over to Paris. Paris drives the lane, dishes to Bone. Bone, 15 footer, good. Laney Bone knocks down the first points of the day. And the Lady Cougars lead two to nothing. Just getting started here in the first quarter. Seven minutes to play in the opening frame. As you very well know, the ladies play four quarters. The men play two halves. Just getting started. Crowd still filing in. There's a couple of seats left over there. If you're driving around out there with nothing to do, just come on by and see some good basketball this afternoon here at Cleveland State. Here's a long three-pointer. You could tell that one was going to go when, she, when it left her hand. Ava Craddock with a shot from downtown, and Dyersburg State goes on top, 3-2. Beautiful shot. Here's a pass inside. Uh, Anika, Anika Smith, Annika. With the traveling violation, they said she carried the ball. So turnover, Lady Cougars. Anika Smith. Here goes Craddock with a drive down the baseline. Shot is blocked by Destiny Remy. And it'll be out of bounds to Dyersburg State. 6.19 to go, first quarter, three to two. Lady Eagles on top of Lady Cougars. Just getting started here from the queue, El Quentin Lane Gymnasium. Craddock gives it up to number 
13 uh, Daly, who has checked into the game. Here's a shot, no good, rebound to Madison Wright. And Wright puts it up and in. Five to two, Lady Eagles. As I suspected, the Lady Cougars a little rusty. First game in about a month. Oh, and they called her for the second time for carrying the ball. So that's a, that's a really iffy call these days because everybody carries the ball. Number 14 for the Lady Cougars, Dariana Salter checks in. As Anika will take a break. As she uh, had a carrying call twice down the floor and she's still bewildered about what, what happened there. Out front is Wright with the basketball. Here's a drive inside, number 13. Sheon Daly puts it up and in. Nice drive to the basket and an early 7-2 lead for Dyersburg State. Paris out front with the basketball for the Lady Cougars. Gives it up to Remy. Remy out front, trying to get it inside the bone, but can't do it at the moment. Over to Salter. Here's a three-pointer way off the mark <laughs> by Destiny. She missed that one by quite a ways. So it'll be here's a pass down court to right back out front long three pointer off the mark this time by Craddock but the long rebound goes to the Lady Eagles. Daly drives the lane puts up a wild shot misses everything rebound goes to Destiny Remy. Lady Cougars on the run, gives it up to Baker. Baker pulls up, cross court pass, shot from downtown. Nope, just inside the line from Dariana Salter. So the Lady Cougars cut into the lead a little bit. Here's the ball knocked away. It'll still be Lady Eagle basketball. Seven to four, 432 to go first quarter. Dyersburg State with the early lead. Cleveland State applying a little full court pressure. Baker. And now they'll back off just a little bit as Daly brings it across the timeline. Over in the corner to Craddock. Got to stay on her. She's the three point shooter. Inside to Neal, Sydney Neal. And ball thrown away. Picked off by Letitia Paris. Lady Cougars on the run. Paris will pull it up. Here's a shot by Salter. Dariana Salter from way downtown, a three-pointer. And just like that, we are tied seven apiece. Sydney Neal gives it up to Daly for the Lady Eagles. Uh-oh, there she is again, wide open. <laughs> Ava Craddock, I could tell when she caught the ball. That nothing but net, the net even hardly moves on both of her three point shots. And that puts Dyersburg State back on top 10 to seven. She is the shooter. We're gonna have to have somebody with her at all times. Salter gives it up to Paris. Paris over in the corner to Baker. Baker drives the lane, puts up a shot. No good, rebound to Craddock. Lady Eagles on the run. Neil will pull up. Oh, there's Craddock again. Got to get on her. She's got shooter written all over her. Coach Evelyn Thompson barking out the orders. Craddock gets a shot off, partially blocked. Puts it up again, no good. Laney Bone with the rebound. Cleveland State on the move. Here's a long three-pointer, no good. And one shot and out for Cleveland State. Looks like Coach Nathan Dame is going to call a timeout for the Lady Eagles. Timeout on the floor. Lady Cougars trail 10 to 7. We'll be right back after this one minute break. Thank you. 
time back in. 10 to seven, Dyersburg State on top of Cleveland State, 2.43 to go first quarter. Thank you so much for joining in our broadcast this afternoon. Brian Grissom live and in color from the queue here at Cleveland State. Lady Eagles with the basketball and a three point lead. Shion Daly will set up the offense for Dyersburg State over to Craddock. Back out front to Neal inside. Beautiful pass to Daly and it, she puts it up and in. That was nice. 12 to seven, Dyersburg State. Letitia Paris pulls up for a short jumper. No good, rebound Laney Bone. Puts it up and in. Laney Bone with her second bucket of the afternoon. And it's 12 to nine. Cleveland State trails by three as we go under two minutes to play here in the first quarter. Daly over to Craddock. Craddock to Neal. Neal to Craddock. Craddock drives the lane and she is going to be fouled as she crashes to the floor. And I believe that is a foul on Letitia Paris. I believe that's the first foul of the ball game. So we go in almost an entire quarter without a foul being called, which is amazingly wonderful. Dyersburg State with the ball. Here's a turnover knocked away by the Lady Cougars. Cleveland State on the run. Tiana Baker dishes to Salter. Shot no good. Rebound Remy puts it up and in. Destiny Remy with the offensive board. And that'll cut it to a single point. Dyersburg State on top with the basketball, 12 to 11, as we head toward the one minute mark of the first quarter. Neal out front, gives it up to Daly. She's gonna throw up a three pointer, that missed badly. As number 10, Diamond Holland has checked in for Dyersburg Street. All the way to the hoop is Baker, Baker. Misses a shot, rebound Dyersburg State, two on one fast break. Craddock takes the hole in. Number 14, Dariana Salter with the block. Salter pulls up, gives it up to Remy. Remy loses it out of bounds. A lot of contact, no call right there. So number 24, Sarah Strickland checks in. Along with number 23, Tiara starts. So, a little pause in the action right here. 44 seconds to go, first quarter. 12-11, Dyersburg State on top of Cleveland State. Sheon Daly gives it up to Strickland. Strickland uses the screen, throws it across court to Daly. Daly tries to drive the lane, can't do it. Number 10, Holland. Couldn't, couldn't get in the hole. 17 seconds, two, one on the shot clock. Couldn't get a shot off. Tremendous defense for the Lady Cougars as they cause the turnover. So Cleveland State down by a point with the basketball. They'll have 13 seconds to get off a shot and maybe take the lead as we go to the end of the first quarter. Letitia Paris over in the corner to Salter. Oh, did she step out of bounds? I believe she did. She tried her move and she stepped out of bounds. Turnover Lady Cougars with three seconds left. 3.2 to be precise. Lady Eagles will try to throw it in and get a shot off. And they're not going to get a shot off as <laughs> Madison Wright said, I can't hit it from here. I'll just hold the ball. So at the end of the first quarter, 12-11, Dyersburg stayed on top by a single point. We'll take a one-minute timeout. We'll be back for the second quarter.
You're listening to Cleveland State Lady Cougar Basketball right here on the Cougar Sports YouTube Network. Brian Grissom live and in color from the queue. Thank you so much for joining our broadcast this afternoon. A beautiful Saturday afternoon. A little cool out there, but it's a beautiful afternoon. If it's not raining, it's beautiful. Lady Cougars with the basketball. They trail by a point. They trail the entire first quarter, as a matter of fact. They, I believe they were up two to nothing, and then Dyersburg has led ever since. Laney Bone inside, puts the move on, off the glass and in. Beautiful drive and bucket for Laney Bone. That's six points for her already. And the Lady Cougars jump on top. 13-12, and there was a foul called. I did not see that. So Annika, Anika Smith checks in. Remy will take a break for Cleveland State. Ava Craddock back in as Sean Daly takes a break for Dyersburg State. Bone, three-pointer, three-point play is good. So Laney Bone gets a three-point play the hard way. Number 24, Sarah Strickland will bring the ball across the timeline. Give it up to Starks, over to Craddock. Lady Cougars playing tough man-to-man -to -man defense as they always do. Here's a pass inside off the hands, but they say Cleveland State got a hand on it. So there'll be 11 seconds on the shot clock, 9-21 game clock here in the second quarter. Here's the inbound pass, shot air ball by Starks. Lady Cougars with the rebound and they are on the run. Here goes Tiana Baker to the hole. She is fouled. By number 23, that is Tiara Starks. She has her first foul. Lady Cougars will throw it in underneath her own bucket. Inside to Smith. Puts it up and good. Anika Smith with her first bucket of the ball game. And the Lady Cougars go on top, 15-12. 16-12, excuse me. Here's a ball batted out of bounds. Smith knocked it out of bounds, so. Lady Eagles will throw it in right in front of the Lady Cougar bench. 8.54 to go, second quarter. Number 23, T.R. Starks with the Heavy leg brace, hate to see that, but good to see her out on the floor. Here's a layup, up and in by number 10, Diamond Holland. So it's 16-14, Lady Cougars on top with the basketball. Here's a pass inside to Baker. Shot, no good, rebound, Bone. No shot, no good, rebound to Neal. Strickland, excuse me, for the Lady Eagles. Back out front to Strickland. Over in the corner to Holland. Holland had the ball knocked away. Scramble for the ball. Lady Cougars on the floor. And it, Letitia Paris gets the loose ball. Two on one fast break. And she's, no, she's not fouled. No traveling violation. As she kind of lost control of the ball there. As number 21, Blakely Mink checks in for the first time for Dyersburg State. So, as we go under the eight minute mark here in the second quarter, Lady Eagles with the basketball. They led for nearly all of the first quarter, but trailed by two, 16-14, early in the second quarter. Here's a pass out front to Madison Wright, over to Neal, to Strickland, back to Craddock. She goes baseline. Tiana Baker cuts her off, slaps the ball away. Good defense, Lady Cougars, three on the shot clock. Got to get one off. And did they call a foul? Oh, tough break with one second on the shot clock. Foul is called on the Lady Cougars. Dariana Salter picks up the foul, so that'll send the shot clock back to 20 seconds as the Lady Eagles are throwing in underneath their own bucket. Out front to Craddock. Over to Strickland, inside to right, puts it up and in. Very nice. Madison Wright puts it up and in, and we're tied 16 apiece. Here's a three-pointer, Salter off the front of the rim, no good. 
Rebound, Lady Eagles. Craddock on the run, gives it up to Strickland. Over to Wright. Thought about a 10-footer, wouldn't do it. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound fought for. Goes out of bounds off of Dyersburg State. Cleveland State basketball, we're all tied up, 16 apiece. <laughs> a lot of Lady Cougars huffing and puffing here in the early going. Just we got to get get it all cranked back up again here in 2023. Thank you so much for joining our broadcast. We had a men's only broadcast last uh, Saturday, and we've got we're back to region play from here on out. Here's a 20-footer, Laney Bone Zip. 18-16, Lady Cougars on top by two. Dyersburg State with the basketball. 6.33 to go until halftime. Strickland gives it up to Neal. Starks over to Craddock. Craddock goes baseline. Now she's in a mess. Probably should have been called for a traveling. Oh, they call Cleveland State for a foul. Tiana Baker picks up her first foul. That's a tough call right there. Lady Cougars trapped Ava Craddock on the baseline, and they called her for a foul. Inbounds underneath the own bucket. Number 23 is Starks out front to right. Over to Blakely. Inside to Craddock. Craddock, great defense, Tiana Baker. There's the traveling call I was looking for a minute ago, and they got her this time. Turnover, L Lady Eagles, great defense by uh, Cleveland State, smothering, trapping defense has been their ID all year long. Letitia Paris out front, gives it up to Salter, over to Baker, to Paris, inside, Laney Bone, puts up shot, rolls around and comes out. Tough break for Laney that time as that was a good shot, just didn't fall. Craddock out front has it taken away, but the loose ball it comes up with Lady Eagles, but Cleveland State takes it away. Anika Smith comes up with the loose ball. That's that swarming defense I talked about. Lady Cougars take it the other direction. Inside, Laney Bone. Bone, 10 footer, no good. Rebound goes to Madison Wright for Dyersburg State. Lady Eagles on the run. Strickland takes it down the hole, down the lane to the hole, misses a shot, rebound, Tiana Baker. As Coach Evelyn Thompson wants to talk things over, 5.02 to go until halftime, 18-16, Lady Cougars on top. We're going to take a break. We'll be back in one minute. Time back in. 18-16, Cleveland State on top. Dyersburg State, here's a long three-pointer by Smith. No good. Rebound goes to Salter, who puts it up and in. Dariana Salter with her seventh point of the ball game. And it's a 2016 Cleveland State lead. Largest lead of the afternoon for the Lady Cougars. 4.35 to go until halftime. Here's a pass inside to number 22, Neal. Fumbles it away, turnover. Dyersburg State, Lady Cougars on the run, and Letitia, they caught up with her, knocked it out of bounds, but it'll be Cleveland State basketball underneath their own bucket. We're not sure. <laughs> uh, Coach Thompson won't run a play on the inbound pass. Laney Bone, 10-footer, no good. Rebound fought for. And looks like Destiny Remy is going to be called for the offensive foul. 
we can live with those fouls. She's in there battling for a rebound. We head toward the four minute mark here in the first half, second quarter. Lady Cougars on top by four. Well, Dyersburg State with the basketball. Holland tries to drive the lane, can't get there. Pass inside to Neal, shot by Holland, no good. Rebound goes to Smith. Lady Cougars on the run. Paris headed down the lane, pulls it up. Oh, there's Remy inside, wide open. Beautiful pass. Destiny Remy puts it up and in. And Coach Dame does not like what he sees. He calls a timeout. We'll take one with him. Lady Cougars on top, 22-16. We'll be right back. You're listening to Cleveland State Lady Cougar Basketball right here on the Cougar Sports YouTube Network. Brian Grissom live and in color from the queue. Thank you so much for joining in the broadcast. Lady Cougars lead 22-16, 3.41 to go second quarter. Here's a shot inside, swatted away by Dariana Salter. Lady Cougars on the run. <laughs> Great defense that time. Laney Bone double teamed. Gives it up to Paris. Paris drives the lane, loses the ball. And I believe they say it went off of a Lady Eagle hand. So there's a break for the Lady Cougars. They'll throw it in underneath their own bucket with their own bucket with 17 seconds to go on shot clock. Inside pass to Bone at her ankles. And we've got a jump ball. Alternate possession goes to Lady Eagles. So, turnover, Cleveland State. That well, was a tough entry pass as it uh, hit Laney in the ankles that time. Looks like Destiny uh, Remy will take a break and Tiana Baker will check in. Along with Salter, Smith, Bone, and let's see, Paris. The five on the floor for Cleveland State. Number 23 is Starks out front with the basketball. She gives it up to Holland. Holland drives the lane. Shot is good. Beautiful shot that time by Daly. It was Sheon Daly with the driving layup. So the Lady Eagles break their scoring drought. Here's a pass inside the bone. She's triple team. And ball is out, goes out of bounds. That was actually to Dariana Salter. As another turnover, Cleveland State. That was good defense for the Lady Eagles that time as they, they met the end entry pass with a triple team. Dyersburg State with the basketball. They trail by four. So we head toward the two minute mark here of the first half. Out front to Craddock, Ava Craddock. We haven't talked about her since the early going as the Lady Cougars have been all over her from the three-point line. Here's a foul call on Letitia Paris as she gets the legs tangled up. And uh, the Lady Eagles will take it out underneath their own bucket. Smith will take a break for Cleveland State as Destiny Remy checks back in. Sheon Daly will throw it in. Oh, underneath the Craddock, ball. Partially blocked, no rebound, Lady Cougars. I was looking to see if there's going to be a foul call, but there wasn't. So here's a pass inside. Bone puts it up and in. 
Nice turnaround jumper, and that's 10 points, 11 points for Laney Moan. And she has had an outstanding first half, 24-18, very low scoring first half. A minute and 45 seconds to go in the second quarter. Here's Daly with the basketball, trying to give it to Craddock, and Craddock is guarded very closely. Here's a driving layup inside, beautiful shot, Tierra Starks. I believe that was Starks, puts it up and in. 24-20. Lady Cougars lead, here's a driving layup. Number 14, Dariana Salter puts it up and in. 26-20, a six point lead for Cleveland State as we head toward the one minute mark of the first half. Here's Daly out front, tries to get it inside. They work inside, here's a steal. Tiana Baker with the steal, here's, and she is fouled by Craddock. So Ava Craddock will pick up the foul to prevent the layup. And uh, Tiana Baker with the, st with the steal. And they they whacked her hairdo, so she'll have to she'll have to redo her hair before she shoots the free throws. All right, she's got her hair back in place, ready to shoot the free throws. Fifty eight seconds to go, second quarter. First free throw rattles around and comes out. First things first, got to get that hairdo back in place. So. Second free throw by Baker. Zip. So one out of two by Tiana. Lady Cougars lead, their largest lead of the afternoon, 27-20. Here's a long pass. Just barely gets a hold of it. Holland with a three-pointer, no good. Ball kicked out of bounds to Dyersburg State. I could not tell who that one went out on, and I'm not sure Mr. Referee could either. So he just pointed one direction. That's the way you do it. 48 seconds to go in the second quarter. Here's Stark, drives the lane, puts up a wild shot, no good. Rebound goes to Laney Bone. Lady Cougars will slow it down just a little bit as uh, we got, uh, yeah, they'll have to get a shot off. About a 10 second difference, 10 or 11 second difference between the shot and game clock. Here's a pass inside the Bone, ball knocked away, fought for, and a foul is called on Cleveland State, that is on Letitia. My goodness, that's three fouls right here in the first half on Letitia Paris. So she'll have to check out here in the last 27 seconds as Anika Smith will check in. So there was no foul trouble at all until that last foul and that uh, is three fouls on Letitia. First free throw is no good by number 13, Cheyenne Daly. She'll get another. Second free throw is good. 27-21. As Ava Craddock will check out and Sydney Neal checks back in for the final 27 seconds. Lady Cougars, uh, no shot clock this time, so maybe they'll hold it for the last one. Over to Smith, it doesn't look like they're gonna hold it for the last one. Smith, shot, no good. Rebound, Lady Cougars, bone, miss a shot, gets a rebound, puts it up. It's good, count the bucket, and she is fouled. Oh no. Oh, they called an offensive foul, oh my. Tough break on Laney Bone, I didn't see that one at all. So the foul, to take the bucket off the board, and a personal foul to Laney Bone. My goodness. 10 seconds to go. 10 seconds, under 10 seconds. Lady Eagles will get the final shot. Here's Daly out front to Craddock. Craddock trying to get a three pointer off. Can't do it. Ball, she is tied up. And we've got a jump ball. Great defense, Lady Cougars, as they did not allow her to get a shot off at the buzzer. We got four tenths of a second for Cleveland State to get a shot off. Four tenths of a second, that could be a foul. No foul called. As they say it was the end of the half, could have called a foul right there, but they didn't. So there we are, 27-21 at halftime. 
is your score. We're going to take a timeout, and we'll be, we'll be right back with some halftime stats right here on the Cougar Sports Network. 27-21, Cleveland State leads at halftime. We'll be right back in two minutes. We are at halftime, 27-21. Lady Cougars on top of the Lady Eagles of Dyersburg State. Cleveland State trailed 12-11 after the first quarter and then finally caught and passed the Lady Eagles about halfway through the second quarter. Uh, let's see, took a 22-20 lead and actually finished the second quarter with a 7-1 run, and that is where we're at, 27-21 at halftime. Lady Cougars on top of the Dyersburg State Lady Eagles. Let's very quickly look over some halftime stats. Uh, Dyersburg State shot 32% in the first half. Cleveland State 41%. Uh, let's see, turnovers uh, about even. 10 for Cleveland State, 12 for Dyersburg State. Looks like uh, rebounds are almost even, a, a difference of two. Offensive rebounds, uh, eight for Dyersburg State, six for Cleveland State, that's about even. Uh, Three-pointers, uh, both teams relatively cold, didn't take many. Two of seven for Dyersburg State, one for five for Cleveland State. And not many free throws at all in the first half as there were not many fouls at all in the first half. Uh, let's see, personal fouls, let's see. Looks like uh, Craddock, Sidney Neal, and Sean Daly with two fouls each for Dyersburg State and uh, Looks like uh, three. Well, I read I read the wrong column there. There were only three fouls called on Dyersburg State. Let me get that right. And uh, three girls with three fouls for Dyersburg. That's what I thought. They didn't call very many on Dyersburg State. Didn't call very many at all except Letitia Paris, and she earned every one of them. <laughs> she is the only, only person with more than one foul. She has three at halftime, so that could be a factor for the Lady Cougars in the second half. Uh, very low scoring first half, uh, point totals. Uh, Craddock had two free three pointers for six points and uh, Sean Daly with seven points to lead the way for Dyersburg State. And for Cleveland State, uh, Laney Bone uh, did her usual, her usual night at the office in the lane. 11 points for Laney Bone in the first half and nine points for Darion, Dariana Salter. So that's the story in the first half for the Lady Cougars, 27-21, Cleveland State on top of Dyersburg State. We're going to take about a, a eight or nine minute break and we'll get ready for the second half. We'll be back in uh, for all the second half action.
All right, we are just about ready for the second half. Third quarter getting ready to get started. You're listening to Cleveland State Lady Cougar Basketball right here on the Cougar Sports YouTube Network. Thank you so much for joining in. This is Brian Grissom live and in color from the Q, L. Quentin Lane Gymnasium on the campus of Cleveland State Community College. Lady Cougars with a six-point lead at halftime. They trailed by one point, 12 to 11 at the end of the first quarter. And then picked it up a little bit with a set close to the first half, as a matter of fact, with a seven to one run. And that made it 27 21, Cleveland State on top at halftime. As I said, this is the first uh, game of the year of 2023 for the Lady Cougars. The Cougars will be their second game as we get the men's game underway here after the ladies get done this afternoon. Uh, this coming Wednesday will we'll be our next broadcast. Botlow State will roll into town from Middle Tennessee uh, for a 5.30 contest, ladies and men, as we are in the heart of region play. Motlow State this coming Wednesday right here on the Cougar Sports Network. I'll be right here bringing you all the action. And then the, the uh, Cleveland State teams will have a couple of road games at Columbia State on the 21st and at Chattanooga State on the 25th before the last game of January, uh, two weeks from today, the 28th, as Southwest Tennessee comes to rolling into town on Saturday afternoon. All right, we are back underway. Lady Eagles with the basketball as we start the third quarter. Here goes number 23. Starks down the lane, shot no good. Rebound Destiny Remy as Lady Cougars are on the run. Tiana Baker over to Paris. Same starting five for Cleveland State. Leticia Paris, Tiana Baker, Destiny Remy, Laney Bone. Here's a shot by Baker, no good. And off, uh, out of bounds off of a Lady Eagle hand. Uh, and uh, let's see, uh, Laney Bone and, and uh, Anika Smith, the starting five for the Lady Cougars. Ava Craddock, Tierra Starks, Sydney Neal, Sarah Strickland, and Madison Wright, the same starting five for the Lady Eagles. Here's a rebound by Bone, but it's knocked out of bounds by the Lady Eagles, so a fresh shot clock, 20 seconds. 9.05 to go, third quarter, 27-21. Lady Cougars lead by six with the basketball. Here's the inbound pass to Bone. Bone, turnaround jumper, 15 feet, zip. Laney Bone with her 13th point of the ball game, and the Lady Cougars take their biggest lead of the ball game, 29-21. Here goes a Lady Eagle down the lane. That's Craddock, ball knocked away from her. And it rolls out of bounds off of credit. Great defense, Cleveland State, as they bottled her up on the baseline. 29-21. Paris will bring it across the timeline. Here's a drive inside Baker. Dishes off to Paris. Paris down the lane, misses the shot. Credit comes away with the rebound. I thought I had lost my eyesight there at halftime, but it turns out my glasses were just a little dirty, so I'll fix that problem. Here's a long three-pointer. Craddock from downtown. Oh, my goodness. They forgot to get on her. She hit two to start the ball game from downtown, and she just sizzled the net for another one as Ava Craddock is deadly from the three-point line. Got to get on her at all times. My goodness, what a, what a shooter. Here's a pass inside, Destiny. Shot too hard, rebound, Laney Bone. Puts it off the floor, Re loose ball to Dyersburg State. Number 24, Strickland on the run, gives it up to her teammate Starks, who puts it up and in. Tiara Starks cuts into the Cleveland State lead, 29-26, 7.35 to go, third quarter. Inside Baker, spin move, it's beautiful. Off the glass, can't get it to go. Boy, that's a great move, just didn't finish. Here's a pass down inside to Neal. She misses the bunny, and Cleveland State comes away with the basketball. Laney Bone with the rebound. Paris brings across the timeline, gives it up to Bone. Back to Smith over in the corner. Cross court pass to Paris. Cross court passes scare me to death. And Letitia drives baseline but dribbles it off her foot out of bounds. Turnover, Lady Cougars. 
Shion Daly checks in for the Lady Eagles. As Sydney Neal will check out. Ne Daly brings it across the timeline. Lady Cougars with the full port court pressure. She gives it up to Starks. Starks out front will set up the play. Lady Eagles with the basketball. They trail by three. 6.45 to go, third quarter. Over to Madison Wright. To Craddock. Back out front to Starks. Puts up a wild shot. No good. Rebound. Anika Smith. Paris will bring it across the half court line. She's going to take it down the lane. Has it slapped away. Gets it back. And then loses it out of bounds. Little out of control that time. Dariana Salter will check in as Letitia will take a break. Pause in the action for a little shoe tying lesson. We've got it tied. Lady Eagle basketball. Sean Daly will bring it up the court. Double screen. Lady Cougars are ready for that. Here it goes. Stark down the lane, puts it up and in. Nice drive in bucket for Tiara Stark. And just like that, it's a one point ball game with six minutes to go. Third quarter, 29 28. Lady Cougars with the ball and the lead. A slim one point lead after leading the six at halftime. Three pointer, Baker from downtown. Four points in the game, and that was a big one. Lady Cougars needed a bucket that time. Tiana Baker from downtown. Here's a, down, a shot from the way downtown by number 24 Strickland. No good. Rebound Lady Cougars. Baker gives it up to Smith. Smith drives the lane. Gives it in to Laney Bone. Bone, 10 footer, air ball. Rebound goes to number 24 Sarah Strickland. Here goes Starks down the baseline. And she is going to be fouled by Anika Smith. Yep, Anika. So, Lady Eagles will take it out underneath their own bucket. Almost a five second call, but they get it inbounds. Here's a pass to Neal back in the ball game. Let's see. No, that is Mink, Blakely Mink in the ball game for the Lady Eagles. Here's a pass inside to Craddock. She puts it up. Can't get the roll, but she is fouled by number 24. Anika Smith picks up her second foul. First free throw is good, is no good. Second free throw by Craddock is good. So one out of two for Ava Craddock. And that'll move it to a 32-29 Cleveland State advantage. Out front is Tiana Baker, loses the ball, gets it back. As Daly is all over her with the defense. Baker knocked to the floor, stolen away. Lady Eagles on the run, one on two fast break. She has a, just loses control as she was running a little fast trying to get away from the Cleveland State ladies. And a turnover, Dyersburg State. So a golden opportunity goes by way of the boards. As we have uh, somebody a little uh, gimpy Lady there as Sean Daly hit the floor hard, and so she'll have to get a little attention as Sarah Strickland checks back in for Dyersburg State. Cleveland State with a three-point lead and the basketball, 32-29, as we go under four and a half minutes to play in the third quarter. Remy picks up her dribble, turns around, shoots no good off front of the rim. Rebound goes to Diamond Holland, who is in the ball game for Dyersburg State. Craddock. She's double-teamed, gets it back out front 
to Strickland. Strickland back to Craddock. They're all over her. They're not going to let her shoot a three this time. And a loose ball. Craddock picks it up. A 10 on the shot clock. Back out front. Here's a pass over to Craddock in the corner. They're trying their best to get her open for a three-pointer. She throws up a wild shot. Air ball. Mm, rebound goes to Tiana Baker. Baker puts the move on. Left-handed layup is good. Tiana Baker gives Cleveland State a five-point lead, 34-29. Three and a half minutes to play, third quarter. Out front is Strickland. Starts with the basketball, gives it to Craddock. Baseline, Laney Bone. Oh, traveling violation. Good defense by Cleveland State once again. As they bottle up Craddock on the baseline, she had nowhere to go. 3.18 to go. Baker will walk it across the timeline this time. Double screen for her. Bone was, Remy was wide open inside. Here's a three-pointer. Dariana Salter shot no good, and uh, Lady Eagles on the run. Baker almost a steal as they throw it away, but Holland picks up the loose ball for the Lady Eagles. There's a reach-in foul by Dariana Salter. That'll be her second. Number 13, Sheon Daly checks back in for the Lady Eagles as Tiara Starks will take a break. Still a five point lead for Cleveland State. Craddock takes it to the, to the paint. Throws up a shot. Uh, Tyersburg coaches wanted a, wanted to foul that time, and I can't say as I disagree with them. But they say that she got all ball, so break to Cleveland State. They get the basketball, turnover, well, uh, Dyersburg State. Tiana Baker shaking a hand. She got it whacked uh, on that last play. She'll bring it across the timeline, give it up to Salter. Salter trying to get it inside the bone. She's going to pull up. Uh, had a foot on the line from three-point land. No good. Rebound goes to number 24, Sarah Strickland. Pass inside to Blakely. Three-pointer from number 10, Diamond Holland from way downtown. And that'll cut it to a two-point advantage, 34-32. Cleveland State on top with the basketball. Lady Cougars in their white uniforms with blue trim. Dyersburg State in their dark blue uniforms with white trim. They made the long trip over from Dyersburg State. Here's a pass inside. Laney Bone is triple teamed, and a foul is called on number 24, Sarah Strickland. So number 22, Sydney Neal, will check back in as Craddock will take a break. for the Lady Eagles. Baker to throw it in underneath their own bucket. Bone, spin move, off the glass and in. That's the patented spin move by Laney Bone. Beautiful shot. 15 points for Laney. Here's a three pointer from Diamond Holland. She has got hot all of a sudden. And that cuts it to one point. 36-35 Lady Cougars with clinging to a one point lead and the basketball. Inside Laney Bone, shot good, beautiful shot, eight footer on the baseline, 38-35, uh-oh, Lady Eagles beat, and they missed the easy one. Rebound to Neal, shot no good, rebound again. Oh, there's Diamond Holland, three pointer, her third in a row, third point in a row, and we are tied at 38, and she's hit every one of those shots from the same exact spot on the floor. 38 apiece, under a minute to play, third quarter. Here's a shot, no good by Baker, but she is fouled. Sheon Daly with her first foul. Not a shooting foul this time. So the Lady Cougars will have it under their own bucket. 20 on the shot clock, Baker, three point land, off the glass and in, the bank is open as Tiana Baker banks home a three-pointer. 41-38, Lady Cougars by three. 
30 seconds to play, third quarter. Here's a pass knocked away by Baker. Lady Cougars on the run. Baker's going to take it to the hole. It is no good, but she is fouled. I believe that's going to be on Daly. Yep. Sheon Daly picks up her second foul. Great job on defense that time as the Lady Cougars grab it and go the other direction with 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. The Lady Cougars with a three-point lead, and Tiana Baker will go to the free throw line to try to add to that. Zip. First free throw is good from Tiana. Second free throw. Nope, off the back rim, no good. Rebound, Eagles. And yeah, but they're on the floor. They call a foul. Oh my goodness. Lady Cougars battling for the ball and Tiana Baker is gonna be called for the foul. 25 seconds to go third quarter. Lady Cougars with a four point lead. Lady Eagles with the basketball. So one out of two for Tiana and Tiana almost had the steal but it rolls out of bounds. A little full court pressure by the Lady Cougars. That causes a turnover as the Lady Eagles throw it away. That's what that little pressure is supposed to do and it worked to perfection. 18 seconds to go in the third quarter. Lady Cougars with the basketball and a four point lead. Baker brings it across the timeline. She's gonna take it down the lane, put up a left-handed shot, can't get it to roll in. Remy with the rebound, too hard off the glass. Three seconds, see if the Lady Eagles can get a don't foul right here, and they cannot get a shot off. And that is where we are after three periods of play. Lady Cougars with a four-point lead, 42-38. We'll be back with all the exciting fourth quarter action after this one minute break. You're listening to the Cleveland State Lady Cougar Basketball right here on the Cougar Sports YouTube Network. Brian Grissom live and in cover, color from the QL Quentin Lane Gymnasium on the campus of Cleveland State Community College. Beautiful afternoon on the outside. And it's been hot on the basketball court as the Lady Cougars and the Lady Eagles. Very entertaining ball game. Neither team able to establish much of a lead. Here's a shot inside Remy and she's called for the traveling violation. So that's the way the fourth quarter starts for Cleveland State. Turnover, Lady Eagle basketball. Cleveland State uh, trailed by a point, 12-11 after one quarter, led by six at halftime, 27-21, and led by four after three quarters, 42-38, and that's where we are. Lady Eagle basketball, huge region battle here this afternoon. Dyersburg State, Cleveland State. Here goes Stark down the lane. Shot no good. And out of bounds to Eagle, the Lady Eagles. Zoe Staniszewski will check in for Cleveland State as Laney Bone will take a break. First action of the afternoon for Staniszewski. Here's a pass inside Starks. Shot no good, and shot clock violation, no. As uh, I believe that was number Madison Wright puts it up and in. And that'll cut it to 42-40, Cleveland State with a two point lead and the basketball. Tiana Baker out front, 
Sets up the offense. Dariana Salter, three-pointer, is about a half a mile short. Remy with the rebound. No good, gets her own rebound, puts it up, can't get the roll. Got away with a foul right there as they're letting them play. Inside pass to Daly. Cheyenne Daly puts it up and in, and we are tied. As the Lady Eagles score the first four points of the fourth quarter to tie the ball game at 42. Smith, Remy, three-pointer, no good. Rebound bounces out of bounds, and it'll be Dyersburg State basketball. Lady Cougars a little frazzled at this point as they haven't had a good trip down the floor here in the fourth quarter. Daly, double teamed by the Lady Cougars, gets it away, gets it away to Stark. Stark inside to Blakely. Almost a backcourt violation. Here goes Craddock down the line. No good, but she is fouled. Destiny Remy picks up her second foul as Leticia Paris will check back in. Eight minutes exactly to go in the ball game. Ava Craddock will go to the free throw line to try to put her team on top. Swish, she does. First free throw by Craddock is good. Swish again, Ava Craddock hits them both, and the Lady Eagles are on top, 44-42, with a six straight points here in the fourth quarter. The Lady Cougars have not scored in this final quarter as we go under eight minutes to play in the ball game. Paris to Staniszewski, back to Paris. Paris tried to drive baseline, couldn't get there. Remy goes down the lane, puts it up and in. Destiny Remy with a beautiful drive to the bucket. Lady Cougars on the board here in the fourth quarter. And we're tied once again, 44 apiece. Trap in the back court. Lady Cougars get the turnover. Hunter, no, shot is no good. Foul on the floor on number 23. Tiara Starks picks up the foul. Cleveland State will take it out underneath their own bucket. So turnover, Lady Eagles. Baker drives into the paint, puts it up off the back rim, no good. Madison Wright with the rebound for the Lady Eagles. And they'll walk it the other direction. So Lady Eagles taking their time this time down the court. Madison Wright out front, gives it back to Daly. Daly's gonna drive the lane, put it up a wild shot, no good. Rebound Salter, oh, and she saves it. Right back to the Lady Eagles. Here's a pass inside two starts, and she puts it up and in. Tough break, Lady Cougars that time. They saved it, but right back to a Lady Eagle, and the Lady Cougars trail by two with the basketball. Paris out front, gives it up to Remy. Remy, three-pointer, no, nope, she had her foot on the line. Rebound Paris, misses the rebound, but it's knocked out of bounds by Dyersburg State. Timeout on the floor. Dyersburg State leads 46-44. 6.33 to go in the ball game. Timeout on the floor. We'll take one with them. We'll be back in one minute. Right back here at the queue, Cleveland State trails Dyersburg State, 46-44, 6.33 to go in the ball game. I uh, have a really good time listening to the coaches 
during timeouts, and during this particular timeout, neither coach was a happy camper <laughs> as they were fussing at their teams on both ends of the court here. So it'll be Cleveland State basketball down by two. Here's a pass inside. Lanny Bone off the glass and in. That's the way you run it right out of a timeout. You set up a play, and they run it to perfection. Lady Cougars with a trap in backcourt. As the Lady Eagles break it this time, they got a three-on-two fast break. Madison Wright misses the layup, but she is fouled. I believe that is by Laney Bone picks up her second foul. So Madison Wright will stroll to the charity stripe. Zip. She hits the first one. She's got seven points in the ball game. That's her first free throw of the day. Second free throw, bounces around and gets the friendly bounce and rolls in. 48-46, Lady Cougars trail by two with the basketball. As we head toward the six minute mark in the ball game. Out front, Stanicheski. Salter drives baseline, puts it up and in. Beautiful job, Dariana Salter. And we are tied once again, 48 apiece. Salter with the steal in backcourt. Lady Cougar defense has done the job here in the fourth quarter. Shot no good, bounces around. And the rebound is ripped out of there by Daly. But we have a foul called, I believe, on Cleveland State. We don't have a 44. You'll have to pick out another number. How about, we don't, we don't have a 34. No, no 34. 14. Four, we're trying to help Mr. Referee pick out a number here. 14 was on Salter. We, we, we had to help him out that time because he had no idea who he was calling that foul on. I believe the hairdo got in the way. That, that, I'm sure that's what happened. Oh, no, there's Holland from down, downtown. 51-48. Diamond Holland has hit four three-pointers. Uh-oh, there's a traveling violation on the Lady Cougars. As Salter is called for the traveling violation, and I'm with her. I didn't see that one at all, as it didn't look like she moved very much at all. So tough break for the Lady Cougars. Blakely Mink checks back in as Wright takes a break for the Lady Eagles. Dyersburg State basketball, 51-48. They lead by three with the ball as we head toward the five-minute mark here in the fourth quarter. Oh, there's Holland. You better get on her. She's hit four three-pointers from that very spot. Everybody has their own favorite spot, and that is hers. They're on the, on the left wing. Here's a shot inside by Daly, puts it up and in. That is 11 points for Daly, and just like that, it's a five point Lady Eagle lead, 53-48. Out front is Baker, she drives the paint, and Salter steps out of bounds. Dariana's having a terrible time over here on this side of the court. As Mr. Eagle Eyes referee saw her step out of bounds right there, just a hair, but it counts. And it'll be a turnover, Lady Cougars. Craddock out front with the basketball for the Lady Eagles. Craddock, as Tiana Baker is on her. Craddock takes it in the lane. Oh, that was a traveling violation, didn't call it. And uh, will the Lady Cougars get a break right there as the Shot was missed, rebound, Cleveland State. Paris over to Salter, steps inside the three-point line, no good, rebound, Blaine, Laney Bone, shot, no good, rebound, Craddock. Tri dribbles it off her foot, turnover goes to the Lady Cougars. That's a break for Cleveland State. 20 seconds on the shot clock, says Mr. Referee. Laney Bone. Double team, turn around 20 footer, no good. Rebound, fought for, and Baker comes up with the loose ball. Baker drives baseline, gives it up to Paris. Beautiful pass along the baseline. And that is the first points of the night for Letitia Paris. 
Lady Cougars cut it. Oh, here's a almost a steal. Dariana Salter is going to be called for, I believe that's four on Dariana. So four fouls on her. 53-50. Lady Cougars trail by three. They apply a little full court pressure in the backcourt. Dyersburg State with the basketball and a three-point lead as we head toward three minutes to play. It's getting to crunch time. Oh, that's got to be a, a loose ball, but they didn't call the carry. There's a traveling violation as the Lady Eagles were a little careless with the basketball that time. 53-50, Lady Cougars trail by three. Paris will bring it across the timeline. Lady Cougars need a bucket in the worst way right here. Paris inside to Stanicheski. Gives it back to Paris. Paris into Bone. Bone double team. Turn around jumper. Zip. Laney Bone brings the Lady Cougars back to within a point. 53 52. Here goes Daly uh, like a streak of lightning across the timeline. Back out front to start. Lady Eagles set it up. Diamond Holland thought about a three. Gives it up to Craddock. Back to Mink. There's a steal, Paris. She's all alone. She's going to put it up and in with the left hand. Beautiful job on defense. Leticia Paris. Lady Cougars are back on top. 54-53. 2.25 to go in the ball game. Timeout on the floor. We'll take one with them. Full timeout. We'll be back in one minute. Very exciting ladies basketball game. Lady Cougars lead 54-53 over Dyersburg State with a quick 6-0 run. They trail by five and on a 6-0 run with 2.25 to go in the contest. It's anybody's ball game. Men's action to follow as the first place Dyersburg State Eagles with a perfect 6-0 region record come in as Cleveland State will try to knock them off their perch. But we gotta get the ladies contest fixed here before the men can take the floor. Lady Eagle basketball, they trail by a point. Cleveland State defense and the trapping in the back court has been a big factor in the comeback. There's another turnover still by Tiana Baker. Lady Cougars on the run. Baker right down the lane, pulls up, 10 footer, it's good. Tiana Baker with a steal in the bucket, and it's a three-point Lady Cougar lead. There's another turnover. Salter throws it away, but Baker runs it down. Now there's a mad scramble for the basketball. And did we get a timeout? I believe he gave the timeout when Lady Eagles had the basketball. <laughs> Confusion reigns. They gave the timeout to Cleveland State and they didn't have the basketball. So we're going to just go right back and throw it in. Number 24. So we reset the shot clock. Now we're ready to go. Lady Eagle basketball. And they travel three as we go into two minutes to play. Action is fast and furious here in the ladies' contest, and we expect the same thing in the men's to follow. Out front is Daly with the basketball. Over in the corner to Holland. Holland drives baseline. Gets it blocked by Bone. Laney Bone with the defense that time as she comes out of the pack with the block and the basketball. A minute and a half to play in the game. Lady Cougars with a three-point lead. They need to try to run a little clock here. Did she lose it? Oh, Leticia had it knocked out of her hand, and they say she just lost the ball. That's a tough break, break for Cleveland State. It'll be a turnover. 
So it'll be Lady Eagle basketball. Daly gives it up to Strickland. Strickland back to Craddock. Craddock to Holland. Holland inside to Madison Wright. She loses it but gets it back. Here's a pass inside, 10 on the shot clock. Uh, Daly, wild shot, misses everything. Lenny Bone with the, re with the rebound. We're under a minute to play in the ball game. Lady Cougars with the ball and a three point lead. Lady Cougars very content to run a little clock. Here is, we have 50 seconds to go in the ball game. Tiana Baker out front. She's gonna take it to the hole and she is fouled by Ava Craddock. So I've got Craddock for three. I've got her for three, they've got her for two, so we'll say two and a half. 56-53, Lady Cougars will throw it in. 40 seconds to play. And we have a foul called on number 13, Shayon Daly. That's three on Daly, and the Lady Cougars are still not in the bonus. So they'll take it out right here by our broadcast position. Baker gets another foul, and this one is on number 23, Tiara Starks. That's three on her, and still not in the bonus. And another foul, the Lady Eagles uh, find themselves having to foul quickly to get to the bonus so that they can stop the clock. So finally, that is four fouls on Starks as Tiana Baker will go to the free throw line. Lady Cougars can salt this one away from the free throw line. Just gotta take care of business. 56-53, Cleveland State with a three point lead. 36 seconds to go in the ball game. Swish, the first free throw for Tiana. She's had an outstanding ball game. SC six and six is 12, third quarter, 15 points on the afternoon for Tiana. Make it 16 as she hits both free throws. And just like that, the Lady Cougars go to a five point advantage, 58-53, 36 seconds to play, 30 second timeout. We'll be right back after this break. You're listening to Cleveland State Lady Cougar Basketball right here on the Cougar Sports YouTube Network. It's been a dandy ladies game back and forth. Lady Eagles led the first quarter. Lady Cougars led at halftime. Lady Cougars led after three quarters. And then a uh, quick 6-0 run to start the fourth quarter for the Lady Eagles, but it's been all Lady Cougars after that. And they lead 58-53, 30 seconds to go. Here goes Daly to the hole, puts it up and in. That didn't take very long. And she's got 13 points in the game, and it's 58-55. Cleveland State throws it away. Craddock with a shot, no good. Rebound, fought for Lady Cougars get a break. As Salter is assaulted <laughs> down there on the other end. That'll stop the clock with 19.9 .9 seconds to play. And the boy, the Lady Cougars dodged a bullet right there as they turned it over. Lady Eagles had a shot, rolled off. Rolled right off. And we have a timeout on the floor with 19 seconds to go. Full timeout, we'll take one with them. We'll be right back. Time back in, 19 seconds, 19.9 seconds to be precise. Lady Cougars clinging to a three-point lead. They have the basketball. 
So all you got to do from, for the next 19.9 seconds is take care of the ball and hit your free throws, and the Lady Cougars will put it in the win column. Easier said than done. Paris gets it in to Baker. Baker is fouled in backcourt, and she'll go to the free throw line. Foul. Four fouls on Sean Daly as Destiny Remy checks in along with Madison Wright. Zoe Stanicheski will take a break for Cleveland State and number 30, Imani Evans had checked in for the first time for the Lady Eagles and she checks out. So, big free throws right here. Tiana Baker, zip. Tiana Baker hits the first one. She'll get another. She's five out of seven from the free throw line. Make that six out of eight as she knocks them both down. 60-55. Lady Eagles take a timeout. 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here. 60-55, 18.9 seconds to go. Lady Cougars on top of the Lady Eagles. Men's action to follow. Uh, let me see. What was I looking for? I was looking for a, a future broadcast. Uh, we'll be right back here this Wednesday afternoon at 5.30. We'll go on there. Our next broadcast, Montlow State will roll into Cleveland for another huge region contest, men's and women's action. And then the, lady, the, the Cougars and Lady Cougars will be on the road uh, the 21st and the 25th at Columbia State and at Chattanooga State. And then we'll be right back here on Saturday the 28th for a showdown with Southwest Tennessee as we head down the home stretch in region play. Time back in, Lady Eagles with the basketball. They need to, oh, it's taken away. Tiana Baker just rips it out of her hands. Beautiful defense, and that has been the story this afternoon. Cleveland State's defense is the reason for this. Uh, that, well, it's not one yet. 14 seconds, and they'll put it in the win column. But that's why Cleveland State is ahead defense. And that's what Coach Evelyn Thompson preaches. And the Lady Cougars, listen, they play great defense. Tiana Baker to the free throw line. 14.6 seconds to go in the game. Men's contest to follow. First free throw rolls in and out. Tough roll that time for Tiana. She is six out of nine from the charity strike. Hits the second one, one out of two for Tiana. 61-55, Lady Eagles on the run. No, don't foul her. There's a shot, no good. Rebound Laney Bone, six seconds, and Laney is fouled with 6.1 seconds to go. Lady Cougars on top by six. We'll shoot a few more free throws. So that'll be Laney Bone going to the free throw line. Been a good hard fought ball game. Both teams have played well. That's what we like to see, a good close ball game. Free throw, zip. Laney Bone. That's just her second free throw of the day. It's unusual for Laney. She usually has a bunch of them. Second free throw, zip. Two for two for Laney Bone, 63-55. Just let her go. Ava Craddock gives it up to Holland. Three-pointer at the buzzer. No good. And the Lady Cougars put it in the win column. Final score, 63-55. Lady Cougars over Lady Eagles. It was a really good ball game. Lady Cougars go to eight and five on eight and four on the season. Five and two in region play. Eight and four, five and two for the Lady Cougars. Dyersburg State falls to five and 11, three and four in region play. We're gonna take a quick timeout. We'll see if we can get Coach Thompson here as uh, we'll uh, get her to come over and we'll just scoot over here and we'll not take a break. We'll just come, come on over here and we'll, yeah, they're coming. We'll get some stats here in just one second. As we Wrap this one up. There we go. Give it a look over there. Well, Coach Thompson, first of all, 
Congratulations on the big win. It was a tough ball game the whole way. Back and forth a little bit. Give me your give me your thoughts. Um, first, I want to uh, give thanks to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, it was it was certainly some praying on that sideline. <laughs> Um, we knew coming in that Dyersburg was going to be a tough team, and they, their record doesn't reflect oh, yeah. it. I mean, right. you know, they, they may have lost a few games, but let me tell you something. What they don't lose is their intensity Absolutely. and in their intent. And so we knew coming in that they were going to be a tough team. We knew they were going to knock down threes, which, of course, they did. Yeah, um, in bunches. They, in bunches, absolutely. They were uh, 7 of 13 from the three. I mean, you don't get you don't get much better than that. So uh, us, on the other, other hand, you know, we don't need to shoot as many threes. We were 3 for 11. So what we had to rely on is our toughness and our ability to get to the basket, which of course, you know, Tiana Baker, who is a, who is our conference leading scorer, she's always going to come in here and lead Great us um, and, and have a really tough game. Laney had a really tough game tonight. She really nailed it at the end with a couple of free throws. But, you know, there, there are very few people who can, who can actually guard her in this league. And so to get her to understand that and get her to understand, right, right. you know, the abilities that she has without, you know, sometimes taking a playoff here and there, she can't afford that, especially when she wants to get back to the D1 level. So, um, you know, we turned the ball over quite a bit tonight. We got out rebounded tonight. But, you know, doing the little things, the fundamental things like making layups in the end and making free throws in the end, that was the difference in the game. I thought, now just my opinion, I thought one of the keys to the ball game was our, zone, our our defense and our zone our little trap and it caused several turnovers it turned a deficit into a lead for us absolutely absolutely and you know uh, when I when I talk about defense I got to talk about of course uh, you know Tiana had absolutely. the she had the toughest um, assignment tonight guarding number 12 and so we knew that she was going to be the key to their their uh, winning the ball game tonight and, and knocking down threes and so she she knocked down a couple early but then we locked in and made sure that she didn't knock down anything after that. What we didn't count on is number 10 coming in right. and, and knocking down some threes. And we got kind of lost in the mix trying to focus on 12 and, you know, let number 10 knock down several several threes, which, of course, we can't afford to do. From the exact and, same and, spot. From the exact same spot. <laughs> and so, you know, but we, you, know, you, you have a night like Laney had tonight. She had 23 points and 15 rebounds. Yeah. By the way, she's leading with double-doubles. She, she averages a double-double. So for her to come out and have a big night, and I knew that she would come out with 23 points and 15 rebounds, you know, is just amazing and three for three from the free throw line. I mean, you can't ask for more than that. And then, of course, Tiana, who again is our conference leading scorer, comes out with um, with uh, 17 points and she had nine steals tonight. I mean, you know, that that, that, that right there is about, yeah. defense. But more more than that, it's not just defense. It is good intent, intentional defense, Absolutely. and a lot of heart because we know we know um, you know everybody wants to play offense, but there are few few and far between of those players who really want to lock down and get that defensive assignment. And so I challenged her tonight uh, to really get in there and play some great defense. And she does. She, she accepts every challenge that I put forth uh, to her. And so she she is, of course, one of our captains, and she's um, definitely the leader of this team. Hey, I tell you what, it's hard to believe, but we are halfway through the season. We're almost headed down the home stretch here. Let's, let's go away from basketball for just one second. Why don't you tell me about all these folks sitting up behind you here in the stands? They all kind of look like me, don't they? How about that? That's right, amazing. Right, because this is my family. My family got a chance to come down um, uh, tonight and support us. Uh, my son came in from New York, Micah, uh, who is, of course, the love of my life. Absolutely. I always say that. Uh, and anybody who will listen, I'll tell them that. <laughs> but Micah came down. Um, he, uh, he is my only son, my, my only child. And he came down with his partner, Karina Cruz, who, and, um, and for all of you out there who want to know, I'm going to be a Gigi. I'm going to be a grandmother. So right. they're, ex they're, they're expecting. Yes, yeah, they're expecting. So if you see me smiling, if you see all of this, this joy emanating from me, it's because I'm about to become a Gigi. Fantastic. And so that is by far the greatest game um, that, that we've ever played. And to have them come here. Uh, my two brothers are here. Uh, my son, Micah, is named for my brother, Micah. Okay. Um, all right. So my brother, Micah, is here. And uh, he's fighting. Um, he's actually um, on the register for a kidney transplant. So he's fighting uh, kidney right. failure. And so for him to be able to come out today and support us was phenomenal. This is actually the first game he's been able to be well enough to come out and see. That's so fantastic. you're gonna make me cry. So don't make don't oh, make me cry. But, hey, that's that's um, what we're all about. And then my family. yeah, absolutely. And then my brother Don is here as well. Uh, so we've got uh, Will, who is Karina's um, Karina's father, uh -huh. here, and Jonathan is here. Jonathan is Micah's best friend. He's here. He's actually on a PhD program at Vanderbilt. 
Um, my son Micah is a Brown graduate, and so is oh, Karina, his partner. There, she's a Brown Fantastic. graduate as well. And so, not only do can we play a little bit of basketball, but we got some brains as well. So, um, but I'm so proud of, of my family being able to come tonight. And then my nephew Kendrick, he's up yep, there as yep. well. And so to have my family here tonight uh, to help push us through that win was, was exceptional. And and like you just said, there's nothing there's nothing greater than family. Um, and I, I just I'm so I'm so blessed and I'm so fortunate to one be here in, in the Cougar community and the Cougar family, but then to also have my family who supports and loves me too. Absolutely, and you and I will have some to talk about now. See, I have nine grandchildren. Oh my goodness. Well, you're gonna have to give me some tips. You're gonna have to give me some tips because this is my son is an only child and Karina's an only child, and so this is the first first grandchild. On, uh, on either side, and so this baby is going to be so loved and so spoiled, it's going to be well, ridiculous. I started to say it might take you a week or so to get it spoiled when it gets there, but. Well, you know, I, I gave her, you know, I already bought her first gift, and you already know what that's going to be. A basketball. It's, going to, it's a basketball, and the second gift was a pair of gym shoes. Oh, well, of course. So, so of course. We're, going to, we're going to have her ready to go, and she's already she's already got a scholarship, uh, from what I understand. Uh, <laughs> the Cleveland State has already offered her. There you go. Well, in, in utero. Breaking news. Breaking absolutely, news. Absolutely. absolutely. Well, congratulations on having your family here. I know you're just tickled to see them. And a big a big region win tonight, and we'll get ready for Wednesday night. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much. And for all of you who are able to come out and support us, come out and support us. We have a great product out here. And, uh, you know, these are a group of women that you'll be proud, not only on the basketball court to watch play, but to then support them in everything that we do. We absolutely. do a lot of community service work. We do a lot of things that would make this community proud to have us as representatives. So whenever you get an opportunity, and if you need, then call me up and I'll put you on a pass list so there's no excuse. There, so there you go. Support. That Got took you. care of that, didn't Absolutely, it? absolutely. Hey, we appreciate Coach Evelyn Thompson. Thank you, Coach, Thank you. for stopping by and chit-chatting with us. That was a great interview. We appreciate her coming by. The Lady Cougars put it in the win column. Final score is... <laughs> uh, 63-55, Lady Cougars put it in the win column. They go to 8-4 and four in the season, 5-2 and two in region play. That's the big one, 5-2 and two in region play. Uh, the uh, Lady Eagles fall. They played well. Lady Eagles played well, but they fall to 5-11 and 11 overall, 3-4 and four in conference play. And uh, as we get ready for the men's contest, uh, we will take a break, about a 10-minute break or so, from Cleveland State. We'll be back with all the men's action. We'll be back in approximately 10 minutes or so.
You're listening to Cleveland State Cougar Basketball right here on the Cougar Sports YouTube Network. Brian Grissom live and in color from the Q, a uh, tremendous ladies contest. Cleveland State comes out on top 63-55. They go to, uh-oh, I tore the paper up. There it is. Uh, <laughs> Cleveland State runs their record to eight and four overall, five and two in region play. The uh, Dyersburg Lady Eagles go to uh, five and 11, three and four in region play. As we're about three minutes away from tip off of the men's contest, the Eagles from Dyersburg State fly in with a 10 and three, very impressive overall 10 and three record, six and zero in region play. So the Cougars looking to hand them their first loss of the season in region play as they practice their slam dunks on the other end down here. Very impressive. Cougars come in with a four and eight overall record, three and three in region play as uh, they will try to upset the Eagles this afternoon right here at Cleveland State. Let's go over some final stats. Uh, Coach Thompson, if you heard our interview, a tremendous interview with Coach Evelyn Thompson. Uh, the inter uh, Let's see. Uh, Ava Craddock with 12 points. Uh, Sean Daly with 13 and Diamond Holland with 11. Tierra starts with eight points to lead the way for Dyersburg State as they shot 36% uh, for the game and ended up with 25 turnovers. That was a huge factor in the win for the Lady Cougars. 25 turnovers caused by the Cleveland State defense. For Cleveland State, uh, let's see, point totals. 23 big points for Laney Bone, a huge Double-double, 23 points, uh, 15 rebounds. Six of those were offensive rebounds. Uh, let's see. Tiana Baker had an outstanding night with 17 points. 11 points for Dariana Salter. Two points for Anika Smith. and uh, Yes, Anika Smith. And Letitia Paris had four. And Destiny Remy chipped in with six points. Cleveland State shot 38% for the game, so that was about even. But the 25 turnovers for Dyersburg State, uh, Dyersburg State kept themselves in the ball game by hitting seven of 13 three-pointers, so that was huge, and that was just two ladies. Uh, Ava Craddock was three out of four, and Diamond Holland was three out of five for uh, Dyersburg State, and that kept them in the ball game, give them the lead for uh, uh, one point in time, and the Lady Cougars would not be denied tonight. So, final score, 63-55. Lady Cougars put it in the win column. We are just about ready for the men's contest. Uh, for the Cleveland State Cougars starting lineups, they will be in their home gray uniforms with black trim and light blue trim. Hello, gentlemen, as we shake hands with the referees. Always want to keep on their good side. Uh, starting 5-4, Dyersburg State Eagles is good. Number one, Greg Gordon. Number four, Davion Scarborough, along with Daryl Houston, Winton Brown, and Ethan Tolbert. The starting five for Dyersburg State. For Cleveland State, Damon Fan, Joshua Horn, Trey Chapman, Caleb Chapman, which will be a broadcaster's nightmare, but I can do it. I've done it before. And Michael Johnson rounding out the starting five for your Cleveland State Cougars. As I said, the Cougars in their Home gray uniforms with a uh, little black stripe along the bottom of the shorts and light blue and dark blue trim. For the Dyersburg State Eagles, they are in their red uniforms. The Lady Eagles uh, wore blue. The Eagles will be in their red uniforms with dark blue trim and a little bit of white stripe on the side. And folks, I'm telling you, this is one tall Eagles team, and we'll talk about that as we go along. I was watching these fellas in, in warm-ups, and they were so tall they were practicing their slam dunks. So uh, we're liable to see a few rim rattlers as we go along here tonight. But the Cougars are ready for the task. They're, they're ready to go, and I expect a really good ball game here in the men's contest. Cougars will try to make it a clean sweep with an upset of the Eagles, and they're gonna have to play their best basketball. Coach Howard Dillard for Dyersburg State has his Eagles. He's done a tremendous recruiting job over in the top northwest corner of Tennessee up by Real Foot Lake. Beautiful, beautiful country, God's country, as I say, over in west Tennessee, the, as far west Tennessee as you can go. 
Dyersburg, Tennessee. Beautiful place over there. Those folks are always super nice to us when we head that direction. Just, oh, just country folk, just like us over there in Dyersburg. Michael Johnson, along with Winton Brown, will tip it off. <laughs> Mr. Referee has a little, a little talk there as the fashion police are already out. <laughs> well, he threw it up. <laughs> so one referee stopped it there as one jumpy was ready and one wasn't. So we're going to jump it again. And this time the Cougars get it. So that's the way you do it. You just throw it up until Cleveland State gets the tip. Cougars with the basketball. Just getting started here in the men's contest. Almost a turnover already. Out front is Damon Fan with the basketball. Gives it up to Chapman. Inside to Chapman. Back out front, Damon Fan. And there's a fan goes flying across the lane. No call. Here's a shot at the free throw line. Shot clock violation. Good defense by the Eagles already as, they, as Cleveland State wasn't even able to get a shot off that time down the court. <clears throat> Just getting started in the men's contest. No score. Number one, Greg Gordon. Gives it up to Davion Scarborough. Here's a throw away. Turnover Eagles. Cougars on the run. Chapman gives it up to Joshua Horn. Horn out front. Back over to Chapman. Chapman gives it up to Caleb Chapman for three. Way downtown Caleb Chapman. And the Cougars put the first den in the scoreboard. Three nothing. That's a nice shot. Number 13 is Daryl Houston. Here's a three-pointer by Greg Gordon. Knocks down a three-pointer for the Eagles. And we are tied three apiece. Horn gives it up to Chapman. Chapman from downtown. No good. Ball bounces out of bounds. No, saved by the Cougars, but the Eagles take it, and they are on the run. Layup on the other end is good by Greg Gordon. So it is five to three, Eagles on top. Cougars with the basketball. Horn out front. He pulls up in the at the free throw line, shot no good, rebound goes to number two, Damon Fan with the offensive rebound and he puts it up, we're tied again at five. Number four is Scarborough, takes it to the hole, spin move, up and in. Davion Scarborough, beautiful move to the hoop. Seven to five, Eagles on top of Cougars. Horn, back out front to Fan, back to Horn. Horn waves uh, one of his teammates around the other way. Horn, pull up jumper, good. Joshua Horn with the bucket, and we're tied once again, seven apiece. Here's a pass over to Gordon in the corner, taken away by the Cougars, two on one fast break. Trey Chapman gonna slam it home, no good off the back of the rim. Oh my goodness, that was Caleb Chapman. As the backboard is still rattling, he was going for the highlight slam dunk. And Michael Johnson is called for the free throw, I mean for the personal foul on the follow-up after the missed slam. Well, that was exciting. It didn't go in, but it, he was airborne, I'm telling you. Scarborough with the basketball for the Eagles. He loses something. <laughs> he took off around the corner, but he forgot the basketball. And it goes rolling out of bounds. Turnover Eagles. Tony Sapp will check in for the Cougars. As Joshua Horn will get the instructions from Coach Raphael Howard. Horn takes it to the hole, dishes it back out front, turnover Cougars. Eagles on the run, one on three fast break, ball knocked away, ball blocked, and beautiful defense. Great hustle by Trey Chapman, getting back on defense for the Cougars, and the ball goes over to the Cougars. So. A surefire layup turns into a turnover for the Eagles. Great defensive effort by the Cougars not giving up on the play. Out front is Caleb Chapman. 
inside to Chapman. Chapman, turnaround jumper off the board and in. Nice job, nine to seven. Cougars on top, 16, 18 to go, first half. Here's number 13, Houston, takes it to the hole. A little pull up jumper is good. Darrell Houston ties it up, nine apiece. And there's a foul on Houston. <laughs> Darrell Houston picks up the foul. He had both hands on. That's a good call right there. Little pause for the calls there. Got a tie tennis shoe. Now we're ready to go. Chapman into Horn. Eagles in a man-to-man -man defense. Here goes Horn to the hole, puts it up and in off the glass. Joshua Horn puts the Cougars back on top, 11 to nine. Number 22, Winton Brown out front, gives it up to Houston. He falls down but keeps his dribble alive. Back out front, three-pointer, no good by number 32, Ethan Tolbert. And one shot and out, Cougars with the rebound. Uh-oh, here's a steal in backcourt by Houston. He's going to throw up a three-pointer. Zip. Scarborough, excuse me. That was Davion Scarborough with the pickpocket and the three-pointer. So that will put the Eagles on top, 12 to 11. Timeout on the floor. Coach Raphael Howard did not like what he saw, so he called a timeout. Time out on the floor. We'll take one with them. We'll be right back. Thank you so much for joining in our broadcast this afternoon right here on the Cougar Sports YouTube Network. Brian Grissom live and in color from the Q. Ladies contest goes to the Lady Cougars in a a very entertaining ball game as Dyersburg State made it a close one. Lady Cougars put it away in the, from the free throw line in the end. Cougars with upside on their mind as the undefeated Eagles come in. Undefeated in a region play. Here's a shot from three-point land fan. No good. Eagles on the run. They throw it away as the Cougars let it roll out of bounds and a turnover. Eagles. Uh, so far, the turnovers... The Eagles are flying so fast down the court that they forget the basketball sometimes, and thus another turnover. Cougars trail by a point with the basketball. Here goes Chapman down the line, Caleb Chapman, and it is swiped, but they say it went off of Chapman out of bounds. Turnover Cougars. That was good defense that time by the Eagles. Gordon brings it across the line, gives it up to Tolbert. Back to Gordon. He dribbles around out front. And the ball is knocked away, and he just lost it. Lost it out of bounds. I thought it was knocked away, though, at the angle it went. But to no avail. Number three, K1 Banks checks in for the Cougars. Trey Chapman will take a break. Jared Taylor comes in. And Horn will take a break for the Cougars. Scarborough on Nicholas Ellis into the ball game for the first time for the Cougars as well. So three new Cougars on the floor. Caleb Chapman out front. Thought about a three. Changed his mind. Banks over to Taylor. Taylor lost it for a second and then gets it swatted. But they're going to call a foul. I believe. So Greg Gordon picks up the foul. That'll send Jared Taylor to the free throw line. 14.08 to go, first half. Free throw, zip. Second free throw for Mr. Taylor. Rolls around and falls in. Two out of two for Jerry Taylor. He puts the Cougars back on top. 13 to 12 with 14 minutes to go in the first half. Here's a layup by Gordon. Uh, Scarborough, excuse me. Rolls around, comes out. On the other end, Nick Ellis puts it up and in. So the Cougars fast and furious. 15 to 12, largest lead of the game 
for Cleveland State. Number 13, Houston with the basketball. He drives to the paint. Pull-up jumper is good. Darrell Houston puts it up and in. And it's 15-14. Cougars with a one-point lead in the basketball. Caleb Chapman out front. Gives it up to K1. Over to Taylor. Taylor to Chapman. Chapman inside. Michael Johnson puts it up. Shot no good. Tolbert comes down with the rebound, loses it out of bounds, but it is off of Cleveland State. So that was Tony Sapp down in there battling for the rebound. As Tony snuck in on me, I didn't see him there for a minute, but he was in there battling. Here's Scarborough out to Tolbert, back to Scarborough. He's gonna try to drive baseline, spin move, can't get there, pushes off to Noavell off of the foot of Greg Gordon and turnover Eagles. Michael Johnson will check back in as Tony Sapp will take a break. Coach Raphael Howard running them in and out as he should. Harold Tompkins Jr. Oh, the fashion police. Fashion police, that's right, buddy. There'll be no... And so he didn't get to come in. <laughs> uh, they're on top of things tonight as Mr. Tompkins gets his uniform in into code. And the Cougars have the basketball. Gives it to Michael Johnson. Johnson has his way in the lane. Follow-up slam by K1 is no good. Foul is called on Ethan Tolbert, his first free throw. I mean, his first personal foul. That'll send Michael Johnson to the free throw line as Joshua Horn gets ready to check back in for the Cougars. 12.49 to go, first half. Free throw, zip. Michael Johnson knocks down his first point of the game. So, Harold Tompkins Jr., he of the encode uniform is into the ball game. <laughs> Fashion police let him in that time. Second free throw for Mr. Johnson. Zip. So two for two for Michael from the charity stripe. And the Cougars extend their lead to three points, 17-14. Cougars with a little free, a full court press, and it almost got a turnover right there. Big number 22, Winton Brown out front. He's going to take it down the lane, throw up an air ball. No good. Rebound goes to Caleb Chapman. Cougars on the run. Horn over in the corner. Jared Taylor, three ball, zip. Jared Taylor from downtown, and it's a 2014 Cougar lead as we go under 12 and a half minutes to play in the first half. Cougars. Hot as fire to start the ball game. Here's a three-pointer. Scarborough, no good. Rebound, fought for. Gordon with a shot, no good. Misses everything. Jared Taylor gets the rebound. Smallest man on the floor gets the rebound. Cougars, so far, are not intimidated whatsoever with this undefeated Dyersburg State team. Chapman over to Banks. Here's the ball batted into backcourt. 11 on the shot clock as Cleveland State runs it down. Joshua Horn, 15 on the shot clock. Throws up a shot, no good, got to get on the floor. And a jump ball will go to Dyersburg State. Good hustle by both teams after that loose ball. So it'll be a turnover, Cleveland State. 11.38 to go first half. 2014, Cougars lead by six. Dyersburg State with the basketball. Number 10 into the ball game, Trey Swift, and he is Swift. He got it to half court in a hurry. Oh, there's an unnecessary foul by Michael Johnson way out here by the three-point line as uh, Coach Howard will get on him for that one. Tony Sapp will check in, and Michael will take a break. Uh, number four, Davion Scarborough will throw it in right here by our broadcast position. He gets it into Swift. Swift to Gordon. Gordon gives it up to 
Number 22 is Brown, Winton Brown. Three on the shot clock. Turn around jumper, off balance, good. My goodness, I don't know how in the world he got that to fall, but he did. He was almost behind the backboard. 2016, beautiful shot by Winton Brown that time. Good defense for the Cougars. He just hit that one. 10.55 to go, first half. Cougars, Joshua Horn, jumper, good. That's six points for Joshua. 22-16, Cougars by six as we approach the 10-minute mark of the first half. Cougars fired up for this ball game. Here's Swift, downtown, no good, rebound. Goes to Tony Sapp. Good job by Tony on the board. As Joshua Horn will slow it up as the Cougars will set up the offense. Jared Taylor takes it down the lane. Spin move. Got away with a travel. The shot was partially blocked and Tompkins comes away with the rebound. Eagles on the run. Swift to the hole. Puts it up and in and he is fouled. Trey Swift with the bucket and the harm. Tony Sapp will pick up the foul. Just the, just the third foul of the ball game on the Cougars. And three fouls on the Eagles, so as it was in the case in the ladies' contest, they're letting them play. Trey Swift to the free throw line to complete the three-point play. He misses it, so he'll have to settle for two this trip. And it's 22-18. Cougars on top of Eagles. We're under 10 minutes to play first half. K1 picks up his dribble out front. Cougars not moving at the moment. Now they get it going. Horn, Horn puts the move on, dribbles into traffic. That's a problem. Turnover Cougars. Can't dribble into tra traffic. They're too quick. Here goes Scarborough down the hole, just loses it out of bounds. So we've got two officials standing side by side here. I don't know what in the world that was about, but they have a good, they fit. <laughs> one of them was out of position and they're having a good laugh about it. So to no avail, the turnover Eagles. Cougar defense causes another turnover. Nine and a half minutes, here's, oh, almost a turnover by the Cougars. Nick Ellis to Caleb Chapman, Chapman to Here's a three-pointer fan, no good. Rebound, fought for, and the Eagles come out of the pack with it. Gordon on the run, gives it up to Houston. Houston back to Tompkins. Tompkins, three-pointer, no good. Rebound, fought for, and they say it's off of the Cougars. Yes. Ball to Dyersburg, 9.05 to go first half. 22-18. Trey Chapman. Fashion police is all over it. Ch Trey Chapman has to go out with an untucked shirt. As K1 Banks checks back in. Houston inside, stolen away, but oh, the, the Cougars, two Cougars fought over the ball and it went right back to the Eagles. Shot was no good, but a foul is called on K1 Banks. That was a bad break as the Cougars were headed the other direction, but they forgot the basketball. So that will send number one, Greg Gordon, to the free throw line. First free throw is good. Six points in the game for Gordon. He's got a two-pointer, a three-pointer, and a free throw for Dyersburg State. Second free throw, in and out, no good. Rebound goes to Caleb Chapman. So one out of two for Gordon, 22-19. Cougars by three with the basketball. Ellis out front, there's a screen by Chapman. Three-pointer, no good. Rebound to Ellis, pass inside, oh! Right off the hands, he was gonna lay it up before he caught it. Tough break for K-1 that time, turnover Cougars. Dyersburg State will slow it down just a little bit as Houston brings it across the timeline. Gives it up to Scarborough, over to Gordon. Gordon, back to Houston. Spin move, 10-foot jumper, good. 
My goodness. That was a pretty move by Darrell Houston. One point ball game, 22-21, Cougars with the lead and the basketball. Damon Fan over to Ellis, to Chapman. Chapman trying to get it inside to Michael Johnson, can't do it. Out, back out front, K1 to Fan. Good ball movement, that one's way off by Caleb Chapman, three pointer was no good. Rebound goes to the big man, number 22, Wenton Brown. He's gotta be close to 6'8 or 6'9. He's a large gentleman. Here's a pass inside, Gordon gets the friendly roll and Dyersburg State is back on top. That's uh, four, seven, eight points for Greg Gordon. 7.33 to go first half. Cougars are behind, they trail 23-22 after a, uh, let's see, two, four, six, six zero run by the Eagles and that puts them on top, 23-22. Time out on the floor, we'll take one with them. We'll be right back. You're listening to Cleveland State Cougar Basketball right here on the Cougar Sports YouTube Network. Brian Grissom live and in color. From the queue, El Quentin Lane Gymnasium, thank you so much for joining in our broadcast. Good crowd on hand this afternoon to watch the Cougars and the Eagles go at it. Lady Cougars took the women's contest. Cougars trying to do the same, make it a clean sweep over the undefeated in region play, Dyersburg State Eagles. Here's a pass inside, Michael Johnson, wild shot. No good, he was a little off balance that time. Tompkins comes away with the rebound. Here goes the Eagles flying down court, gives it up to Scarborough. Scarborough, left-handed layup is good. Davion Scarborough, 25-22. Eagles on top, I believe that is their largest lead of the ball game, it is 25-22. Cougars need a bucket right here to stop the bleeding. Caleb Chapman drives baseline, puts it up, slam dunk. Caleb Chapman, boy, that was a nice move. 25-24 with authority. Six and a half minutes to play, first half. Cougars trail by one, Eagles with the basketball. Here's a pass inside to Gordon. Gordon, left-handed shot, no good. Rebound fought for. Cougars come out of the pack with it. Caleb Chapman. We'll give it up to Ellis. Ellis across the timeline. Left-hander will set up the offense. Banks over to Chapman to Fan. Spin move, Fan, three-pointer, Chapman. A little too strong, air ball, rebound, Cougars. Puts it up, no good by Banks, and the Eagles come out of the pack with the basketball. Here it goes. The Eagles to the lane, shot is no good by Tompkins, but he is fouled by number three, K1 Banks. A host of Cougars ready to check in as Harold Tompkins Jr. will go to the free throw line. We got three Cougars and a couple of Eagles ready to check in after this first free throw by Mr. Tompkins. It is way off the mark, so he misses the first one. Jared Taylor, Landon Jacobs, and Trey Chapman come into the ball game. Let's see, uh, looks like, uh, well, somebody came in. Okay, he's still waiting over here. Free, second free throw by Tompkins is good. So it's 26-24 as Tolbert, Ethan Tolbert comes back into the game along with Scarborough, Gordon, Brown, and Houston for the 
Eagles. Chapman gives it up to Horn. Horn puts the move on, spin move. Back out, three-pointer. Jerry Taylor, too strong. Tip, no good. Rebound goes to the Eagles. They throw it away. Landon Jacobs comes up with a loose ball. Jerry Taylor to the hole. Puts it up. Oh, it laid on the rim. Came off. Eagles on the move. Alley-oop, slam dunk. Greg Gordon. Oh, my goodness. That was nice. 28-24 as Gordon slams it home. 28-24, four-point lead for the Eagles. Cougars to the hole. Here's Chapman, shot no good. Rebound, Chapman, and it's up and in. Caleb Chapman puts it up and in. That's seven points, let's see, yes, yeah, seven points for Caleb. And it's 28-26. Cougars trail by two, Eagles with the basketball. Gordon out front, quick as lightning. Picks up his dribble, gives it up to Scarborough. Scarborough waits on the screen. Dishes in the lane to Gordon. Gordon didn't have anywhere to go. He rebound Cougars. Cougars on the run. Chapman. Oh, they throw it away. Little too quick that time. As Coach uh, Howard forces his displeasure. What did they do? They have to go find the ball? Yeah, it went way back in the corner over there. I was wondering what happened in that direction. Can't play without the ball, so somebody's got to go get it. Just like playing at the house when it rolls down the hill, somebody's got to go get it. 28-26, Eagles with the ball in the lead as we go under four minutes to play in the first half. Been a very entertaining first half, just like the girls' game. Here's an air ball from three-point land by Houston Cougars. We'll pick off the errant shot. Out front is Chapman. Chapman pulls up, 15 footer, no good. Rebound goes to Scarborough. Eagles on the run. Here goes Gordon to the hole. Shot no good, tip no good. Cougars with the rebound. Now the Cougars are on the run. Here goes Taylor, Euro step, can't get it to fall. Battle, bodies all over everywhere fighting for the basketball. As I believe Coach Howard Dillard got a timeout. Yes, he did. So after all that, a timeout on the floor. 3.30 to go, first half. As a 30-second timeout to restore order and let everybody catch their breath, especially this broadcaster. Timeout on the floor. We'll take one with them. We'll be back in 30 seconds. You're listening to Cleveland State Cougar Basketball right here on the Cougar Sports YouTube Network. Thank you so much for joining in the broadcast this afternoon. Two very entertaining ball games. Uh, Lady Cougars take the women's contest, and the Cougars trying to do the same, make it a clean sweep of this Saturday afternoon festivities. But they've got a tall order ahead of them as they trail the Dyersburg State Eagles, who are undefeated in region play with 3.20 to go in the first half as the ball gets away. I guess it was just knocked out of bounds by Cleveland State. Cougars trail by two, Eagles with the basketball. They take it in on side court, on the other side of the court from our broadcast position. Here's Gordon out front with the fancy ball handling, takes it down the lane, puts it up off the glass, too hard. Rebound goes to Joshua Horn as, uh-oh. A technical foul on uh, Harold Tompkins Jr. must have said the wrong word. So that will send Caleb Chapman to the free throw line to shoot the technical foul. So that brought a quick stop in play. Cannot convert as it rims out on Caleb. So he'll get another as he collects himself. Second free throw. Oh, my goodness, he misses both of them. That's a tough break as uh, that's two free points right there. The Cougars needed badly. 
3.05 to go, first half, 28-26. Cougars trail by two with the basketball. That could have tied it up right there, but to no avail. Joshua Horn out front. Scarborough all over him. Reaches in, spin move by Horn. Ball knocked out of bounds by the Eagles. 19 on the shot clock, 2.53 first half. Nicholas Ellis will take a break. I mean, we'll come into the ball game as Joshua Horn will take a break. Joshua's just not a happy camper at the moment. As he felt he was fouled right there. Ellis gives it up to Jared Taylor. Taylor back to Chapman. Chapman inside to Tony South. Three-pointer Jared Taylor from the corner. Oh, did we need that one? 29-28, Cougars seesaw back on top. Two and a half minutes to go, first half. Scarborough fakes the three-pointer. Good defense by Ellis that time as he cut him off going down the lane. Here goes number 13, I believe. Daryl Houston takes it to the hole, puts it up and in, and he was fouled. So Jared Taylor will pick up the foul as Daryl Houston Count the bucket, and he'll get a chance for an old-fashioned three-point play. Off the rim, no good, but the tip. Oh, my goodness, Win Winton Brown with the tip, and that's a four-point trip for the Eagles. Can't stand those four-point trips. 32-29 as we go toward the two-minute mark here in the first half. Cougars with the basketball inside to Tony Sapp. Sapp. Works his way, spin move, can't get a shot off. Back out front to, Ta to Ellis, and he throws it away. Turnover Cougars. Tony Sapp will take a break. K1 Banks will enter the, the floor. Cougars let that opportunity get away. Can't throw it away against this team. The Eagles are really good. Out front is Scarborough. He's trying to go to the paint, does go to the paint. Shot no good, tip no good. Rebound Eagles, shot no good, tip no good. And the Cougars cannot secure the rebound. As here we go, the pass back out front was stolen away by number 30, Mark, oh, number 20, Trey Chapman. He gets it blocked, rejected. Here's a pass inside to Tompkins and it is good. Harold Tompkins, Harold Tompkins made the bucket for the Eagles, 34-29. Eagles on top of Cougars. Largest lead of the afternoon for the Eagles. Here's a 20-footer by Taylor, no good. Rebound goes to the Cougars, and that is Trey Chapman with the bucket. So Chapman puts it up and in. We're under a minute to play first half. 34-31, Eagles with the ball and the three-point lead 42 seconds Tompkins gives it up to Gordon out front he'll set up the play trying to go into the paint can't get there come pull up three-pointer air ball by Greg Gordon ill-advised shot as coach <laughs> I look down toward coach Dillard and he just claps his hand with that that grin that says I could kill him but uh, no to no avail 34-31 Cougars look like they're going to hang out and shot clock, game clock, about a second difference. Ellis inside Chapman. Chapman gets it blocked by Gordon. Eagles going the other direction. They're on the run. Dish to number 13, Houston. Shot no good. Good job. Cougars on the, on the run. Here's a pass. Everything off a leg and in. Jerry, after all that, Jared Taylor puts it up and in, grabs a loose ball. Puts it in just before the halftime buzzer. And just like that, it's a one-point game. Eagles on top at the half, 34-33. Whew, that was a, 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 an exciting first half. Cougars trail by a point. We're going to take a two-minute break, see if we can find some halftime stats, and we'll be back in two minutes.
You're listening to Cleveland State Cougar Basketball right here on the Cougar Sports YouTube Network. Brian Grissom live and in color from the queue. L. Quentin Lane Gymnasium on the campus of Cleveland State Community College. We are at halftime, 34-33, Dyersburg State Eagles, the undefeated in region play Dyersburg State Eagles. They lead by a single point, 34-33 at halftime. Lady Cougars took the opening game of the day by a final score of 63-55 over the Dyersburg State Lady Eagles. Lady Cougars, if I can find my paperwork, Lady Cougars go to... Eight and four on the season, five and two in region play. Uh, Dyersburg State falls, they, they played well. Dyersburg State gives Lady Cougars all they could handle and then some. They fall to 11 and, uh, five and 11, excuse me, five and 11 overall, three and four in region play. As the Lady Cougars put it in the win column in their first game of the 2023, the new year, first one of the new year. We are almost halfway through this basketball season, folks. I can't believe it. Uh, shoot it, free throw percentage, let's see here. Uh, not free throw, but uh, shooting percentage, 39% for the Cougars. And uh, let's see, 48% for Dyersburg. That just doesn't compute. But anyway, 48% for the game for Dyersburg, 39 for Cleveland State. Let's look at the turnovers. Dyersburg had eight, Cleveland State nine, so that's a wash. Uh, rebounds almost a wash. Cleveland State with a 22-18 advantage on the boards. Uh, let's see. Nobody really in foul trouble. Let me look here at the uh, fouls. Uh, four different uh, Dyersburg State Eagles with a foul each. And one, two, three, four. Four Cougars with a foul each. And K1 Banks, the only, only player on either team with as many as two fouls. So foul problems. Should not be a problem for either team in the second half. Uh, Three-pointers, uh, Dyersburg State hit two of eight. Cleveland State three of 11. Uh, everything else fa fairly fairly close uh, on the old stat sheet here. Individual scoring. Uh, Winton Brown had four points for Dyersburg State. Uh, Greg Gordon had 10. Davion Scarborough with five. Daryl Houston with eight, and Harold Tompkins with five. A very balanced scoring for the Dyersburg State team who come in with a 10 and three record, six and oh, as I have said in region play. The Cougars with four and eight overall, three and three in region play as we start the day. Uh, point totals, let's see, Caleb Chapman had seven to lead the Cougars. Six points for Joshua Horn. Five points each for Nick Ellis and Jared Taylor to lead the way for Cleveland State. Pretty balanced scoring attack for both teams as we are at halftime, about 10 minutes away from the start of the second half. We're going to take about an eight or nine minute break with them right here on the Cougar Sports Network. We'll be back for all the second half action after this about an about a eight minute break. We'll be back.
You are listening to Cleveland State Cougar Basketball right here on the Cougar Sports YouTube Network. Brian Grissom live and in color. color. From the QL Quentin Lane Gymnasium on the campus of Cleveland State Community College, thank you so much for joining in our broadcast this afternoon. Lady Cougars took the women's contest. Cougars trying to pull off the upset of the undefeated Dyersburg State Eagles. They trail by a, a single point, 34-33. At the half, we're just about ready to get started here in the second half. <clears throat> Want to remind you about our upcoming broadcast. Uh, this coming Wednesday, the 18th, we'll be right back here at the queue. Motlow State will roll into town for a couple of big region games. And then, excuse me, the Cougars will hit the road on the 21st to Columbia State in Middle Tennessee and the 25th to Chattanooga State for some big region showdowns. And we'll be right back here two weeks from today. Let's see, this coming Wednesday, Motlow State, and then two weeks from today, we'll be right back for Southwest Tennessee and a couple more region matchups. Cougars with the basketball to start the second half. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat. I'm trying to hang in there. Here's the ball batted into backcourt, 16 on the shot clock. Starting five back on the floor for the Cougars, Chapman, Chapman. Horn, Fan, and Johnson on the floor for the Cougars. Foul is on Ethan Tolbert for the Eagles to open up here the second half. Damon Fan with a chance to put the Cougars back on top. First free throw is straight as an arrow, but it goes in. We'll take it, and we're tied up. 34 piece. Second free throw, straight as an arrow, but it goes in. That's all that matters. And the Cougars are on top, 35-34. <coughs> You'll have to excuse me. I'm fighting my throat here. It's trying to give out on me. Here's a long three-pointer by Scarborough. No good. Same starting five as well on the floor for Dyersburg State, Gordon, Scarborough, Houston, Tolbert, and Brown. Chapman to Chapman. I knew that would get me here after a while. Fan. Over to Chapman, inside to Michael Johnson. Shot no good, ball batted over the backboard and out of play. So it'll be Eagle basketball. Cougars with a one-point lead. Eagles with a basketball. Number 13 is Daryl Houston. He'll bring it across the timeline. Gives it up to Scarborough, over to Gordon. Trying to get it inside, can't do it. Here's Houston, Pug picks up his dribble. Back out front to Gordon, to Scarborough. Scarborough, turnaround jumper is good. Boy, he can, that is a smooth shot. That is not a hard, uh, not an easy shot, but he makes it look easy. 36-35, Eagles by a point. Oh, ball slapped away. Cougars fighting for the loose ball. And we got a kick ball. So it'll be Cougar basketball. <coughs> the the uh, player tried to pull it to him with his foot, and they called it a kick ball. Fan out front, 20-footer is no good. Rebound, fought for, tip no good. Rebound goes to, oh, there's the alley-oop, and it comes off. Oh, the Eagles missed a golden opportunity right there. The anti-alley-oop, here's a shot, no good by the Cougars. Here's a slam dunk on the other end, Greg Gordon. So the Cougars miss a golden opportunity. And just like that, it's back to a three-point lead for the Eagles. 17-39 to go in the ball game. <coughs> Caleb Chapman, 15-footer, is good. Good shot, Caleb, that time, 38-37. Here's a drive down, and, oh, uh, Eagle is down. He ble I believe he turned his ankle. I believe it's an ankle. He's going to tie his shoe a little tighter and hope that the pain goes away a little bit. 
And that's a good job of the referees letting him tie his. That boy, he's limping on it bad. That was Greg Gordon. They need to take him out. Look at it. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> he was limping until the referee tried to take him out of the game, and all of a sudden, it's a miracle. <laughs> that, that ankle got better all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. yeah, really, he could play soccer. That was a great move right there. He was hurting until he had to go out of the game, then he got better. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, back at the ball game, Chapman gives it up to Fan. Fan over to Horn in the corner, drives baseline. Joshua Horn to the hole, misses the easy one. And rebound goes to Brown. Here's a eagle out front. Reverse slam dunk by Greg Gordon. Boy, that ankle did get better in a hurry as Gordon got, had no problem getting off the floor. He's got 10, 13, 14 points in the ball game. And that will make it a 40-37 eagle lead. Timeout on the floor. We'll take one with them. We'll be right back. Forty thirty seven Cougars trail by three. Eagles from Dyersburg State with the lead by three points. Sixteen fifty five to go in the ball game. It's really funny there a second ago as uh, uh, Greg Corden turned his ankle was limping badly coming down the court and he got right here in front of a broadcast position and referee was trying to do him a favor and get him get him out of the game let him rest a second and Gordon said no it's fine look and he just started walking normally it was great. It was just great. <laughs> All right, we're ready to play. It'll be Cougar basketball. They trail by three. Cougars have led, let's see, uh, looks like five points might have been the Cougars' biggest lead in the ball game. Eagles have been on top for uh, three quarters of the first half, but it's been a very slim lead. And uh, Cougars trying to pull off the upset. Here he is, Chapman out front. Gives it up to inside to Chapman as Joshua Horn feeds Chapman. And the, point, the bucket is good and he is fouled. So count the bucket for Trey Chapman for Caleb Chapman. <laughs> And he'll get a free throw. Free throw, no good. Cougars can't tie it up this time. Tolbert with the rebound. Eagles on the run. Pull up jumper by Houston is good. Nice shot. Boy, that was nice. 42 39. <clears throat> As we head toward the 16 minute mark of the first half, here goes Chapman to the baseline. Can't get there. Chapman out front, three-pointer, no good. Chapman with the rebound, can't control it. And instead of calling a foul, Mr. Referee just gives it to the Cougars on the side court right here by our broadcast position. Trey Chapman to throw it in. Gets it into Horn. Horn to Fan. Oh, and he stepped out of bounds. Turnover Cougars. <clears throat> As uh, the shoe just slipped out of bounds for a turnover. Tolbert out front gives it up to Gordon. Gordon, 20 footer, no good. Rebound goes to Chapman. Cougars on the run. Horn to Chapman. Chapman baseline puts it up, blocked partially. Rebound Cougars. Back out front is Horn. Horn. To Chapman, one more time. Chapman in the lane. Four Eagles around him. He puts it up and in. No basket. Oh, no. So the foul is on Davion Scarborough, and there was a question about the, whether they're going to count that one or not. So they called it on the floor. So no bucket for the Cougars. 42-39. Eagles lead Cougar basketball. Here's a pass inside. Fan has it blocked. <clears throat> and now we have another foul on Davion Scarborough. So he picks up two really quick ones. 
15.30 to go in the ball game, 42-39. Eagles by three, Fan can cut that to a point with two free throws. He hits the first one. And he hits the second one. So four for four from the free throw line for Damon Fan, 42-41. Cougars trail ball point, Eagles with the basketball. Here goes Scarborough down the baseline. Here's a three-pointer is blocked. Cougars, Damon Fan with the block. Here is Horn on the run, gives it up to Fan. Fan back to Horn, trying to work it down inside to Michael Johnson, who's in the ball game. And the ball is swatted out of bounds by Brown. It'll be Cougar basketball. Winton Brown with the hand in the cookie jar that time. <coughs> Cougars underneath their own bucket. As they get it in to Chapman. Chapman back out front to Horn. Horn fakes a three. Now he's going to back it out. 13 on the shot clock. 14.53 game clock. Chapman gives it up to K1 Banks, who's in the ball game. A little... Oh my goodness, a rebound no good, tip no good, but Michael Johnson cleans up the trash. And that is Michael's first bucket of the game. Cougars back on top, 43-42. Scarborough with the shot, no good. Rebound Cougars, Cougars on the run. Horn has his, has his pocket pick, but the Eagles stepped on the end line. Nick Ellis and Jared Taylor will check in for the Cougars as Josh Horn and Damon Fan will take a break. So it's Taylor, Banks, Chapman, Chapman, and Johnson on the floor for the Cougars. Ellis out front, gives it up to Chapman, Chapman to Taylor, Taylor, back to Banks, here's a steal, bad pass. Number four is Davion Scarborough with the steal in the layup. Can't have that if you're going to win this ball game because the Eagles will take advantage of every opportunity. We are under 14 minutes to play in the ball game. One point game. Cougars with the ball. They trail by a point. Caleb Chapman spin move down the lane. Dishes to Johnson. Shot no good. Michael missed it. Here it goes. The Eagles on the run. Shot is good by Tompkins, and he is fouled. And we got a Cougar down over there. I don't know what happened there. Caleb Chapman charged with a foul on Tompkins, and I believe that was Nick Ellis that was down, but he's up now, so he's good. Tony Sapp will check in and Caleb Chapman will take a break for the Cleveland State Club. 13-39 in the ball game. Tompkins, free throw, good. He's two out of three from the line tonight and it is 47-43. So a three point play for Harold Tompkins Jr. Here's a pass in over to Sapp, Sapp gets it inside to Banks, Banks to Taylor, Cougars back out front, nine on the shot clock, Taylor gives it up to Ellis, Ellis to Taylor, Taylor baseline, can't get the shot off, and the run out is gonna be a slam dunk on the other end by Darrell Houston, 49-43. <clears throat> So that's two runouts in a row for the Eagles. As they get out and go, boy, they can move. Tony Sapp out front, Taylor. Back to Banks, Banks. Gives it up to Ellis, three-pointer for Banks. No good, rebound fought for. And out of bounds to the Eagles. So tough break for the Cougars. Michael Johnson will take a break. And Caleb Chapman will check back in. 
Six point lead for the Eagles. I believe that matches their largest lead of the afternoon. Scarborough out front. He's gonna drive the lane, put up a wild shot. No good, rebound goes to Tompkins and he is fouled again. So there's that man, Harold Tompkins Jr. on the offensive board. It is Tony Sapp with the foul. <clears throat> Harold Tompkins to the free throw line. Gets the roll on the first one. Trey Chapman back in the ball game. Tony Sapp and Nick Ellis will take a break and Josh Horn will hit the hardwood again. 12.28 to go in the ball game. Lady Cougars took care of business in the women's contest. Second free throw by Tompkins is no good. He's three out of five from the line. 50-43, 12-20 to go in the ball game. Eagles with the lead, Cougars with the basketball. Chapman to Chapman. Oh, he threw it away again. Another turnover for the Cougars. Cougars gonna be way behind if they keep turning it over. There's a swat. Cougars get a break. They're running the other end. Caleb Chapman to the hole, puts it up and in. Caleb Chapman with his uh, 13th point of the ball game. And it's 50-46, Cougars not going quietly. 50 to 45, excuse me. That was a two point layup. There's a pass inside, tipped away by the Cougars. Turnover Eagles. Joshua Horn on the run. He takes it down the lane, has it stripped. And Eagles on the run out. Here's gonna be another slam on the other end by Darrell Houston. I tell you, when the, there's a possibility of a rebound, there were two Eagles gone the other direction that time. The Cougars are going to have to get back with them regardless of how fast they get down through there. Timeout on the floor, 11.30 to go in the ball game, 52-45, the largest lead of the afternoon for the Dyersburg State team. Timeout on the floor. We'll take one with them. We'll be right back. You're listening to Cleveland State Cougar Basketball right here on the Cougar Sports YouTube Network. Thank you so much for joining in the broadcast tonight. A great afternoon of basketball. Good, good crowd on hand. Cleveland State took care of the business in the ladies' contest. Cougars looking to pull off the upset here in the men's contest. Cougars with the basketball. They trail by seven points, the largest deficit of the, of the afternoon for Cleveland State. Need a basket in the worst way. Here's a three-pointer. Jared Taylor swishes the net. That's his third three-pointer of the ball game and a beautiful time to hit a three-pointer. 52-48, Cougars trail by four. Eagles with the basketball. Here goes Scarborough to the hole, puts it off the glass and in. Got away with a push off that time, but it counts as Scarborough with 13 points in the afternoon now for Dyersburg State. Taylor gives it up to Horn, Horn to Chapman, Chapman to Horn. He throws up a three-pointer, ill-advised, bad shot. Rebound goes to Wenton Brown for the Eagles. Dyersburg State on the run. Scarborough, Houston. Houston, spin move, takes it to the hole, teardrop, no good, re tip no good. And the Eagles come out of there with the offensive rebound. Here goes Scarborough to the hole, puts it up, can't get the roll. Taylor to Horn, to Chapman. Oh, he throws it away, turnover Cougars. One on two fast break, and Greg Gordon lays it up and in. 
56-48. Cougars in danger of letting this one get out of hand. Chapman to Taylor to Chapman. Over in the corner, Horn puts the move on, gets in the paint. Trey Chapman from three-point line, way short. Rebound goes to Brown for the Eagles. Here's a shot down court, layup no good, but Trey Chapman will pick up the foul. It's his first of the afternoon. And that was a good foul because it stopped a layup. Greg Gordon will stroll to the charity strike. Left-hander. No good. Hits the front of the rim on the first one. He's one out of three from the free throw line. Nick Ellis and Michael Johnson will check back in. K1 Banks takes a break for the Cougars, as does Jared Taylor. 9.32 to go in the ball game. Second free throw by Gordon. <coughs> he is good. So one out of two. 57-48. Largest lead of the afternoon for Dyersburg State. Nine points. Cougars need a bucket. Nick Ellis out front. He'll set up the play. He had somebody wide open there. Couldn't get it to him. Chapman drives baseline, and um, they say it went off of an eagle hand, or a talon in this case. 57-48, out front, Damon Fan, three-pointer, zip. Boy, did the Cougars need that one. 57-51, need a stop now, as we go under nine minutes to play in the ball game. Cougars have played hard against this very talented and very large Dyersburg State team. Come on, Mike. Here's Mike. Here's Mike. Coach Howard Dillard has done some recruiting over in Dyersburg. Here goes Houston, turnover, and the Cougars throw it away, and they say it went off of a Dyersburg hand. So that's a break for Cleveland State. 8.44 to go in the ball game. Cougars with the basketball. They trail by six. So it's Chapman, Chapman, Ellis, Johnson, and Fan on the court for the Cougars. Gordon, Scarborough, Houston, Brown, and Tompkins for Dyersburg. Inside, Michael Johnson back out front. Ellis to Chapman. Thought about a three, changed his mind. Trey Chapman, Ellis, Chapman, three-pointer, zip. Caleb Chapman knocks it down from three-point land. And just like that, two three-pointers in a row, the Cougars are right back within three. At the 8-15 mark of the ball game, 8-15 in the second half, Cleveland State wants a timeout. They trail 57-54. We'll be right back after this one-minute timeout.
Time back in as Dyersburg State throws it away. 57-54, Cougars trail by three with the basketball. Fashion Police makes, makes Caleb tuck his shirt in a little bit there. As the referees are on top of that situation. Ellis, oh no, a turnover at side court. Cougars with the turnover as we go under eight minutes to play in the game. Cannot afford turnovers against any team, much less a really good team. Out front is Scarborough with the basketball. Gives it up to Houston, inside to Tompkins. Turnaround jumper, no good. Rebound goes to the Cougars as Trey Chapman pulls it in. Gives it up to Ellis, he'll bring it across the timeline. Back out front to Ellis. To Fan, Fan three-pointer, zip! Damon Fan ties this ball game up, 57-57, it's a new game. Cougars have come back from a nine-point deficit. Here's Eagles inside, Tompkins puts the Eagles back on top with a very nice turnaround jumper. That's four, seven points for Harold Tompkins in the ball game. Ellis brings it across the timeline. He pulled, picks up his dribble, gotta be careful with that. And the Cougars are gonna have to waste a timeout. So he picked up his dribble, got in a mess, and had to use a timeout, but they didn't turn the ball over. We are one tick. Under the under seven minutes to play in the ball game, 30 second timeout, 59 57, Cougars trail by a bucket. And I have, I have just this, just my personal opinion. I don't, the, the Cougars don't shoot enough three pointers. They need to hit them. Boy, they've hit them today. That is for sure. Jared Taylor with three, Damon Fan with two three pointers, Caleb Chapman with two. And looks like uh, Dyersburg State has just had uh, a couple of three-pointers. So Cougars from behind the arc have been very successful today. All right, order is restored by Coach Raphael Howard. Cougars with the basketball to having a hard time getting it in. And they have to throw it into backcourt as Joshua Horn will run it down. Plenty of time, 15 on the shot clock. Horn. He's checked into the game along with K1 Banks. Inside to Michael Johnson. Turnaround hook shot is good. Michael Johnson puts it on, on the board. And it is back to a tie ball game, 59-59. Here's a turnover. Cougars with the basketball. Damon Fan on the run. K1 Banks takes it the hole. Now he backs it back out. Fan, three-pointer, zip. Damon Fan knocks another one down. 62-59. A technical foul. Oh, it's called on Damon Fan. Oh my goodness. I imagine that is for Tony. I did not see it. Oh my goodness, that's a tough one. First technical free throw by Davion Scarborough is good. Second one is also good. Boy, that hurt. That hurt in the worst way. 62-61, Cougars still lead by a point. As that took, kind of took the air out of the sail right there. 624 to go in the ball game. Folks, we're headed for a fantastic finish. I can feel it coming. Houston to Scarborough to Brown. Back to Scarborough. He drives the lane, puts the left-handed shot up too hard. Rebound Eagles, and he falls down. Traveling violation. Good defense by the Cougars that time. Forced a tough shot. As we go under six minutes to play in the ball game. Joshua Horn out front. Gives it up to Chapman. Chapman to Banks. And here's a screen that was run over. Number four. Four. All right, it must have been off the ball. I didn't, I didn't see that one. Davion Scarborough with the foul. 
<laughs> hey, watch the ball game out there. Mr. Referee giving me a hard time here. Cougars with the basketball, 13 on the shot clock. Chapman to the hole, puts it up. Oh, can't get tipped, no good. Rebound, Michael Johnson. Oh, and did they call it over the back? No, it was on Caleb Chapman. Well, it was 22 red. Okay, I thought the referee pointed the other direction. It was on Winton Brown. The foul was called on uh, the Eagles, so that will send Michael Johnson to the free throw line. That's more like it. Free throw, good. Michael Johnson, two, four, five, six, seven points on the afternoon for Michael. Two-point lead for the Cougars with 5.43 to go in the ball game. Second free throw for Mr. Johnson. Oh, off the front of the rim, no good. One out of two for Michael, 63-61, Cougars. Here goes Scarborough, the hole has it stripped. Turnover Eagles, Cougars on the run. Joshua Horn gives it up to Fan. Fan foul, no ball, no call. Joshua Horn, loose ball, it's fast and furious out here. As the Eagles are in a 2-3 zone right here. Here goes Horn to the hole, scoop shot, no good. Rebound, gets his own rebound. Fade away, no good. Rebound goes to Darrell Houston. Eagles on the run. Houston to the hole, shot is blocked. Did they call a foul? They did. <clears throat> Joshua Horn is called for the foul. Both teams are racing up and down the court in lightning, <laughs> lightning fashion <laughs> as we're scrambling to keep up over here. <clears throat> they're, they're running faster than I can talk. First free throw is good by Houston. That's his first free throw of the day. Let's see, he's got 10, 12, 14, 15 points on the afternoon for Darrell Houston. Uh-oh. That No, he didn't give it to him yet. I thought that was going to be a lane violation on the Cougars as Damon got in there last, but he didn't have the ball yet. Second free throw. No good, rebound, fought for, out of bounds to the Cougars. Oh no, they said it was off of the Cougars. I thought that one was off of the red uniform, but to no avail, so it'll be Eagles basketball. 63-62, Cougars clinging, and I do mean clinging, to a one point advantage. Oh, shot is no good. Greg Gordon is fouled, and he'll go to the free throw line. So that'll be three fouls on Michael Johnson. Let's see. He's the only Cougar with three fouls. Davion Scarborough, the only Eagle with three fouls. As we are one tick under five minutes to play in the ball game. First free throw rattles around and falls in for Greg Gordon. He's three out of five from the free throw line this afternoon. Second free throw, zip. Four out of six for Mr. Gordon. And the Eagles go back on top, 64-63. <clears throat> Joshua Horn, <laughs> and there is a hand check foul. We'll take it on Davion Scarborough, and I've got him for four. Throws his hands up to Coach Dillard down there. He said, I can't believe that call. But the Cougars will take it, that's for sure. Josh Horn to the free throw line. Rattles at home. We're tied once again. As Josh hits a clutch free throw, he'll try one more to put the Cougars on top. <clears throat> oh, he misses the second one, so we're still tied. 64 apiece, one out of two for Josh. Eagles with the basketball. Here's a long three-pointer by Brown, no less. No good, rebound Cougars. Damon Fan runs it down just before it goes out of bounds in the corner. Horn across the line, Caleb Chapman out front. Chapman inside, Michael Johnson, hook shot, no good. Rebound goes to Brown. Pass out front, Brown to Scarborough. Three-pointer is good. 
Davion Scarborough knocks it down, a clutch three-pointer. That'll give the Eagles a three-point lead. 67-64, 4.16 to go in the ball game. Back and forth we go. Time out on the floor. We'll take one with them. We'll be right back. Sixty-seven, sixty-four. Eagles on top of Cougars. Cougars with the basketball. It's been a back and forth ball game. Boy, it's been a dandy too. Dandy ball game. Joshua Horn brings it down over to Caleb Chapman. Chapman inside to K1 Banks. K1 backing his man down. Back out front. Joshua thought about a three. Takes it to the hole. Can't get it to fall. Oh, and now here's a turnover. Count the bucket. Caleb Chapman jumped up, blocked the long pass, went right to Michael Johnson. He put it up and in, and the foul is called on the Eagles as Michael Johnson gets the bucket and will tie it up with a free throw. Great defense by the Cougars. Free throw, Johnson. Off the front of the rim, no good. So Cougars trail by a point as Michael misses the free throw. That was his first miss. He's hit three in a row. He's three out of four now. Scarborough, Houston, Brown for the Eagles. Inside to Tompkins. Tompkins misses the shot. Rebound Cougars. Trey Chapman with the rebound. And the Cougars will slow it down a little bit as we go under three and a half minutes to go in the ball game. Pass over to K1 Banks. Banks takes it in the lane. Gives it up to Horn. Back to Fan. Fan to Chapman. Thought about a three. Takes it in the hole and has it stolen away. Three on one fast break. Gordon to the hole. Puts it up. And he is fouled. Oh, golden opportunity for the Cougars that time. Couldn't get it done. So count the bucket. Damon Fan with the free throw, with the foul for the Cougars. And that will send Greg Gordon to the free throw line to try to convert the three point play. Caleb Chapman checks in. Trey Chapman comes out for Cleveland State. Greg Gordon to the line for the three point opportunity. He hits it, so a three-point play for Gordon, and it is 70 to 66. Cougars trail by four. Out front is Fan with the basketball. There's a screen by Michael Johnson. Fan to Horn. Horn takes it in the lane. Ten-footer, no good off the grass. Three on two fast break for the Eagles. And they throw it into Tompkins. Tompkins puts it up and in. And just like that, it goes back to a six-point lead for the Eagles with two and a half minutes to go in the ball game. 72-66. Inside, Michael Johnson. Hook shot is good. So Johnson with his uh, 12th point of the ball game. 72-68. Cougars trail by four as we head toward the two-minute point in the ball game. Number 10, Trey Swift into the game for the Eagles. Out front to Houston. Houston tried to throw it away and didn't. 
Inside Tompkins, 10 footer, no good air ball, rebound Gordon. Shot is blocked, but a foul is called on Kwan Banks. Pick up his third foul and the Eagle Parade to the free throw line continues. Cleveland State's going to take a timeout with 1.55 to go in the ball game. 72-68. They trail the Eagles by four points. Timeout on the floor. We'll be right back. We'll take one with them. We'll be right back. Time back in, 72-68. Eagles on top by four, looking for a five-point lead as Greg Gordon goes to the free throw line. He hits it. So Gordon hits, uh, he's six out of eight from the charity strike. And he's he'll look for another one to uh, extend the lead. Free throw, zip. 74-68. Cougars trail by six, 154 to go in the ball game. Horn crosses the midcourt stripe. Eagles playing man-to-man -man this time. Oh, tough break. Damon Fan gets the pass, but his foot was out of bounds. Turnover, Cougars. That one hurt. As the Eagles will take their time now as they're going to run some clock. 140 to go in the ball game. Cougars back in their... Uh, they're going to just sit back and let them run it a little bit. Cougars in there in a 2-3 zone for some reason. Pass inside. Horn. I mean, uh, Gordon. Shot no good. Tip no good. And out of bounds to the Cougars. Cougars got the stop that time, but some precious time went off the clock. 120 to go in the ball game. As the Cougars will roll it up the floor, save a few seconds. Need a bucket in the worst way right here. Chapman to K1 to Fan to Mark uh, uh, Michael Johnson. Here goes Horn and tip. Shot no good. Tip by K1 is good. That is K1's first points of the ball game, and they came at a good time. 74-70. Cougars trail by four. Eagles with the basketball. And we've got... 50 seconds to go in the contest, and the Cougars are content just to let them run 30 seconds off the clock. As, oh, here's a turnover. That's what Coach was, oh, no, they throw it away. Cougars throw the outlet pass, and they weren't looking for it. Turnover, Cleveland State. That's a big one. 37 seconds to go. 74-70. Got a foul right here because you can't afford to run 25 more seconds off the clock. Got to have a foul. Time is ticking away. 25 seconds to go in the game. Here's a pass. And the, the Eagles are doing their part. They've thrown it away twice in a row. So 22.6 seconds to go. Cougars with the basketball. 74-70. Got to pick that one up, Josh. As they, they roll it up court. Horn, 19 seconds. Got to get a shot off, fellas. Trey Chapman has it stolen away. And that ought to just about do it as Gordon to the hole, puts it up and in, and he is fouled by Damon Fan. Tough break, Cougars, as they're going to let this one get away from them. With 10 seconds to go, a six-point lead, and the Eagles are going to the free throw line. <clears throat> that Boy, you hate to drop this one, but the Cougars just did not get it done down the stretch. And it, without a miracle, they're going to fall this afternoon. Gordon misses the free throw. 
So it is still 76-70. Horn pulls up at the free throw line. Jumper, no good. Rebound, Chapman. Shot blocked by Brown, and that is the end of the ball game. Final score, 76-70. Dyersburg State over Cleveland State. We'll take a quick timeout. We'll be right back with some final stats and wrap it up. You're listening to Cleveland State Cougar Basketball right here on the Cougar Sports YouTube Network. 76-70 final score. The sad story, the Cougars were right there. Couldn't get it done at the very end, and the Eagles hold on for dear life for a 76-70 win over Cleveland State. Lady Cougars take the ladies' contest 63-55 in a, a pair of big region uh, uh, tilts here at Cleveland State this, this afternoon. Final score, Lady Cougars win 63-55. Uh, Cougars fall 76-70. Cougars fall to 4-9 and nine overall, 3-4 and four in, in region play. Dyersburg keeps their 
region record unblemished at 7-0 and 11-3 and overall. Very quickly, some final stats, and then we'll wrap it up and get out of here. Uh, Dyersburg State shoots 49% for the ball game. Cougars shoot 37%. Turnovers, Cleveland State with 19. Uh, Dyersburg State with 17. Uh, point totals. Uh, have a good one, buddy. Uh, 26 points for uh, Greg Gordon uh, to lead the way for Dyersburg State, with, and he also had six rebounds <clears throat> to go. And uh, let's see, a couple of steals. He had a great game, Greg Gordon, and hit the big free throws down the stretch. He was 7-10 from the free throw line. 16 points for Davion Scarborough. Uh, Daryl Houston had 15. Winton Brown had four. Trey Swift had a bucket. And Harold Tompkins had 13 points to round out the scoring for uh, Dyersburg State. I was looking at the rebounds there. 47-37, Cougars with a 10-point advantage in the rebound department. For Cleveland State, uh, let's see. Caleb Chapman had a good game with 16 points, 13 rebounds, a double-double for Caleb. 14 points for Michael Johnson, 15 for Damon, F Damon Fan, 7 for Joshua Horn, 2 for Tony Sapp, Five, Nick Ellis, seven, Jerry Taylor to round out the scoring for the Cougars. So, two really good ball games this afternoon from Cleveland State as uh, the girls, the, the ladies win, the boys fall to Dyersburg State. Our next broadcast will be this coming Wednesday, the 18th. Motlow State will roll into town for a couple of big region matchups uh, right here on at the queue and, uh, uh, at Cleveland State. Then the Cougars will go on the road. They'll hit the road uh, the 21st and the 25th at Columbia State and at Chattanooga State. And then two weeks from today, we'll be right back here at the queue when Southwest Tennessee will roll into town for uh, two more big region games. Well, folks, that's the story from Cleveland State this afternoon. We really appreciate everybody tuning in and all the great feedback we, we are getting from our broadcast. We appreciate that. And we hope to be able to bring it to you from for the rest of the season and the, on the home games. For everybody that is helping me get, stay on the air and all the folks, the fine folks behind the scenes, and, of course, my good buddy Michael Ship down there on the board, on the book, this is Brian Grissom saying good night and God bless, everybody. <laughs>